Hello, everybody. It's been a crazy, it's been kind of a crazy week. If you're like me, you've probably been doing a lot of, a lot of this, right? Like, oh my God. How have we survived 2020? I have no idea, but I'm so excited that you're here tonight because we are going to watch a horror film that you need to see. I know you're a fan of vampires. Who doesn't love vampires? Uh, we are going to watch Blood from Stone on another Film Threat Watch Party. Here we go. Welcome to a very special Sunday edition of a Film Threat Watch Party here. I'm so ecstatic that you're joining us. This is gonna be a lot of fun. We have a packed house of actors, filmmakers, creative people to talk us through Blood from Stone. We're gonna watch the movie together with live commentary. This is gonna be a blast. And everybody here, this is the most, this is pretty incredible. Jeff Ryan, you are you are yeah. joining us from an undisclosed location yeah. as we speak. Thank you so much. Uh, dude, this, this must be exciting for you. It's extremely exciting. Yeah, it's uh, one, to have the film out there in the world, but two, to be able to share this with uh, Film Thread fans and with the team that helped make this film, from the actors to so many of the creative people behind it. So it's a really great experience. And we can get, well, first of all, we need to remind people right now, you can go to bloodfromstonemovie.com. You can also go to Amazon. Go to Amazon. You can rent Blood From Stone. You can also purchase Blood From Stone. You can also comment live along with, with us. And we already have some comments. Uh, Lily Anderson's giving a virtual hug. I love this movie, she she says. Um, we've got... Legally Music also has a, a, a comment. Oh, Legally Music is part of the film. That's awesome. So post your comments and and um, Jeff, along with the cast, will 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 respond to your comments. Yeah. Uh, Jeff, this is pretty this is pretty exciting right now. It is. This is really exciting. Yeah. I'm looking forward to this. Well, let's bring on. We have a packed house. I'm going to bring everybody on. And uh, please introduce uh, all the filmmakers behind this movie as we get ready to watch. Again, a reminder, go to Amazon Prime. Uh, go to Amazon, Amazon uh, you Prime can... uh, videos. And then it's also on Where Google else? Play, And you can even rent it on YouTube as well. Oh, wow. Rent on YouTube. This is awesome. Yeah. Let's bring everybody on. There are a lot of people here to join. This is one of our biggest watch parties ever. So, oh wow, everybody's here. This is crazy. I feel like the Brady Bunch. Sorry, yeah, Brady you, have to, you have to, <laughs> Jeff, please, please introduce everybody. Okay, well, next to me here is Jeff Black, composer of the score for the film, as well as numerous other uh, ways that he was part of it. Uh, Robert Santi, one of the actors in it. Uh, then down below you first is Bonnie Kaponovich, lead actor, all around the best. Uh, in the middle there is Nika Krovan, who is an actress as well as in production and production coordinator on it and casting some the roles. Uh, next to Adishol Erdogan, who is camera, right hand man, just all around guardian angel. Uh, Gabriella Toss, lead actress, uh, just phenomenal human being. Uh, bottom left, Michael Caradano, producer of the film. Uh, he's the one who kept us all in check and kept us from getting in trouble. Um, Alethea Spencer did special effects makeup as well as general beauty hair and makeup and many other roles as well. And then Linda Nelson uh, in the bottom right, who is the reason that things out there in the world. <laughs> hey, everybody. How are you? Hello. Uh, awesome. Um, Jeff, what can you say uh, in sort of like if this were if we were at a film festival and you were about to introduce the movie to an audience that has not seen it, doesn't know anything about it, what would you tell them? Um, it's, uh, it's a unique one. It's a vampire film that goes to a lot of interesting places. It's a romance, 
the thriller, the horror, the neo western, neo noir, drama, um, our comedy, and we just wanted to make something different, something thought provoking, and something unique that tells a deep story in a fun way. So hope you enjoy it. Cool. What what about everybody else? Um, I mean, here we are on a Sunday enjoying some adult beverage. Some of us are. Um, <laughs> yes. Cheers. I'm just curious what everybody has to say before we get ready to watch the film. Anya, what do you have to say? I'm not even here. Do you hear me? Oh, yeah. You hear you perfect. <laughs> it, says you're, it says in the bottom of the screen, you are in the show. Everybody can see you and hear you. That's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I better get dressed, man. Yeah. <laughs> don't stand up. Yeah, don't. yeah. Well, I see there was no dress code by looking at us. So I'm sorry for my casual style. Um, okay, joke aside, uh, thank you for this experience. I've never done this, so I really don't know what to say. I'll tell you when I'm, when I'm done. About the movie, I mean, you'll see it. You tell me. I'm too biased to say anything at this point. So I guess, you know, just watch the movie. <laughs> and yes, you know what? You're right, Chris. This is our this is our second gathering. We actually did meet when the movie premiered in L.A. So, yeah, this is like a second hangout. And thank you for this. It's really cool to do this uh, when we can't meet, you know. It's good to do it from home. So when the movie premiered in LA, was it was it, you know, physically in person, you know, um, before the dark times, so to speak? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah we did a little private one for uh, for mass crew and a couple of friends and colleagues. It was really great to uh, to do really that. You know, not the same as uh, actual public release, but it was a really nice experience to be able to have a uh, see the theater and uh, do it all together. Uh, Jeff, uh, can you can you turn down your volume or can you? Oh, put the we don't have it right next to mic. That's what it is. You are very echoey, and your your words are really important. It's much more important that you are not <laughs> echoey than me. I thought Jeff was playing God, kind of like being the director. You know, yeah, like, that echo effect. Yes, the echo was sort of like, oh, I'm God. Um. <laughs> He's like embedded in the consciousness. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just want to remind people that are tuning in, however you're watching this, go to Amazon. You can rent the film. You can purchase Blood from Stone. You can also get it. Where else can you get the film, Jeff? Uh, DVD Blu-ray. That wouldn't help right now. <laughs> but yeah, got that. And just keep on a few other platforms soon. And we have Steve Steven Yap. Hey, Steve, how are you? Steve, Steve, you're muted. Steve, you're muted. <laughs> this is like this is like the beginning of every bad Zoom call. <laughs> Steven, you're I'm, here. I'm about as far as quarantine as I suppose. <laughs> I mean, it's like Groundhog's Day, really. It's just. Yeah. And we have more comments coming in from people. I will be posting the comments, Jeff, throughout. So please, all, right. um, uh, all the people that have been uh, commenting, anything yeah. you'd like to say to them. Hi, Gina. Good to see you. <laughs> nice. Oh, thank you so much. Cool. Linda Nelson says she'll be back. OK. okay good. Do you guys see something I don't see? Hold on. Oh, comments. Yeah, I think standing as Vanya. I'm like, why don't, am I missing something? Um, I think Joe was also saying hi from Nevada. Uh, yeah. Hey, Joe. Hey. Hello. Yeah. I feel like we're a bunch of dinosaurs who don't know how to use technology. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All the kids are like, what is going on? <laughs> well, this definitely uh, feels very Brady Bunch. Um, yeah. The nine squares. Uh, cool. So, uh, we're getting ready to watch the film. I want to remind people, please uh, go to Amazon, look up Blood from Stone. We're going to press play in just a few minutes. Um, Jeff, can you set it up before we get ready to press play? 
set it up. Um, yeah. I guess just brace yourself. It's a wild world we're about to go through. <laughs> so I'm um, really proud of everybody here for how much they all put into it. And uh, can't thank you all enough for being part of this, uh, this crazy uh, idea of mine and making it actually real. So thanks, and everybody that's joining on with us to watch it. Thanks for being here. Cool. All right. Is is everybody have uh, the film ready to press play? Yes. Yes. Because okay. So, and by everybody, I mean the audience. Is the audience here ready to press play? Okay. <laughs> What's so stupid? Uh -oh. All right. All right. Um, this stuff. Yeah. Any last minute, la last looks, so to speak. Um, uh, grab your last drinks. If you need a break, get ready to go. Um, we're going to press play. Is everyone set? All set. I'm good to go. I mean, I really wish I cleaned my bedroom a bit more before we start this up, but. <laughs> Next time. Next time. Next time. <laughs> I live in a closet. There really is no place to put all of it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, are we ready? Um, Jeff, do you want to give like a three, two, one count? Oh, you want me to? Sure. Yes, please. <laughs> okay, I'm going to press the space bar. Okay. So everybody ready? Yep. Yes. Okay, three, two, one, play. <laughs> I see the Indie Rights logo. <laughs> <laughs> the internet explodes. <laughs> I'm going to watch it without sound. All right. All right. You can see it right behind you. There's Vanya. This is a legendary shot, I have to say. If I may yeah. so. <laughs> yeah, it's a great <laughs> opening shot right here for. Uh, for I mean, uh, I would watch a movie just for this shot. You might as well. Hold it. <laughs> 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 I will say I love this introduction to you. I love that you can smoke indoors. Do that in LA. No, no. <laughs> that would have been a whole other permit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see Gina's comments in the uh, comments. Where's that at? Oh, there's a ton of comments. Oh, I found the ton of Okay. Oh. Oh. oh, yes, he did bring a flask of his own blood into the uh, into the bar. <laughs> they, don't serve, uh, they don't serve his drink there. They don't. Well, with LA drink prices, you definitely want to flask it up, at least for a couple. Exactly. I think we've all done it one or two times. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I got to say, I love this. Uh, I, I love the depth of feel and the lens that you used here. Just the bokeh and this whole scene. Look at the lights in the back. Look how much they are. It's beautiful. Oh, I love that. Vintage lenses. They're uh, two Pancros Series 2s from, uh, they're from the 1940s. And they are not rehoused. They're the original housing, so they are clean of the button full focus. Right? Yeah. It's amazing. It, it I still I still have visions hearing you for some reason. I don't know what's going on. Oh really? Like it's muffled. I don't know why. Maybe we should just go to the regular Try that. Now, no, Jeff. When you shot this at this bar, did you like shoot in off hours? 
Like, um, by that I mean, like, yeah. like yeah, yeah, it was definitely off hours. hours. And, and uh, uh, we kind of made, made a special, special arrangement, arrangement that we would shoot after they closed and just go until they arrived the next, next morning. morning. So. Yeah, a lot of our call times were at uh, midnight to 2 a.m. Just to uh, just to accommodate, you know, some of the areas that we were able to uh, get into. Definitely night shoots. Yeah. I remember getting here the morning of, and then they said, oh, by the way, Steve, you have 30 minutes to take a quick nap, and then we're getting in the truck to uh, go shoot this thing. Yes. <laughs> I had, had a full day that day, too, so I was actually falling asleep standing up while we were doing this. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys remember when we shot this how there was a stunt person there and we had to coat like a fight ideas and stuff you remember that oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there was actually somebody who worked in hollywood with very famous um, i guess with you know johnny depp and pirates from caribbean and stuff like that and he was overseeing what we were doing and helping us out and uh you know, it was really interesting how he was basically telling me how he knows that I can do martial arts. He wanted me to kick people in the head, and that would look better, like in terms of like a karate stuff. But then Jeff was like, "Yuri is not that refined. He doesn't know martial arts. He's just clobbering people." Yeah, that was a funny. I love that he's seasoning his food. That's great. <laughs> he's not. Just a little sprinkle. sprinkle. <laughs> I remember making the baggies of cocaine every night. <laughs> oh, yeah, yes. I remember that. I remember doing the cocaine every night. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie, how come you didn't share? <laughs> and I wouldn't have had any for myself, you know? <laughs> That's great. Oh, and there's the head slam. Yep. I cannot believe how dirty I look in every scene. <laughs> yeah. That wasn't even mask heavy, I heard. No, uh, no, there's no makeup for that, right, Alethea? <laughs> wow. Patty. Yeah. yeah, it's very, um, that's all Vanya. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw something really funny. Oh, man. Hi, Kristen. Kristen. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Good to see, see you. you. <laughs> Is that a blast? Bring your own blood. <laughs> yes. Yeah, pretty much. I love this part. Mm -hmm. This is such a good part. Yep. Do you remember as the sun was rising when Vanya was doing that stumble? And we were like, <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. quick, Vanya, come on. <laughs> <laughs> every night yeah, this was, was the last take. Mm -hmm. Chris, every night was ending in the same way. Jeff was saying, okay, Vanya, don't panic. We have only this one. Sun is out <laughs> 10, 9, 8. Oh, shit. <laughs> It was like literally every night, the last shot before the dawn. Got it. Yes. 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 <laughs> we're packed. I remember since the sun goes down to go up, we were just packed with shots. We didn't skip a beat a second. It's unbelievable how much content we shot in those nights. Yeah. yeah. I love how all the locations just sort of blend in here. It's a mixture of Laughlin, Las Vegas. I have a question, technical nature, for you guys proposed. These lens blurs and these left distortions that, that you're seeing right now, see that? Is that in post or did you guys capture some of that in camera? How is that done? Um, it was an in camera effect that Addis Sola actually inspired because. I, I forgot, forgot to stop recording when he was changing a lens. <laughs> and 
as he was pulling the lens off, there was some amazing bokeh that happened. And so I drove back to Vegas, we recorded that for a night, just the lens dismounted, and then just moved it around in all the lights. So it was like a, a makeshift tilt shift lens. And, and yeah, just recorded, recorded a bunch of that and overlaid it. So, so oh, so you added that on top of the existing one. Wow. Yeah. Dude, you're such an artist. I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody does that. People purchase a set of, set of like players and done. Yeah, and Bobby, Bobby actually Bobby went with me on that drive to Vegas. This looks like a vampire walk of shame. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it really is. In a way. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like that. <laughs> <laughs> like, did we actually clean up the big puddle of blood he was in after we got the set? I think we did, but I don't remember. Oh, yes. Yeah, uh, it was just... red velvet cake mix, and because it was like 110 degrees outside, it kind of cooked on the ground. <laughs> look, at the, look at the beautiful transition between Gabby's pure skin and cleanliness of her dress and the mess that I am. <laughs> 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 it's almost like my every... Every relationship. Which is yeah. true to this day, the difference between the two of you. <laughs> Absolutely. That's how we were casting. We walked in and they're like, yeah. these two. <laughs> this is the best commercial for blood ever. Her handing it <laughs> and me laying on a couch like a fucking stud. <laughs> Here, have some this blood. <laughs> McDonald's blood. <laughs> Is there vampire rehab? Vampire rehab? Yeah. That's a good question. Yeah, yeah about halfway yeah. through, his sister comes, comes in, in for, for an intervention. <laughs> so she comes <laughs> in a little while in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember having the debate about whether or not we were going to transform the house that we were staying yes. in for this apartment scene. And then Mika was like kind of deciding, like, you were part of that decision process, right? To make sure that we were going to use the house. It was like a location. Well, we, we lost the location. I think, I can't remember why we lost the location. But then I was like, well, because. What you're seeing was actually part of a huge open plan house kitchen, but we managed to move the refrigerator and like Jeff position the camera where you can't see the front room. And so, yeah, it looks like a one bedroom apartment, but it, it really is a huge open plan downstairs of a house. I mean, I love that Airbnb though. Like, we, it was our set, but it was also like, oh, uh, like filmmaking summer summer for <laughs> You know, ten buds in a house making a movie. Yay. Yeah, it was awesome. Don't forget the pool. Mm. Oh, yeah, the neighbors were terrified of us. <laughs> we got to have our six a.m. pool parties. They couldn't turn us in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it at six a.m. Like, what is this group doing partying at six a.m. every day? Every day. <laughs> when do they sleep? <laughs> What are they doing in that house? It's covered in duvetine. Like, don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> nope. And then oh, you walk and by the, and then you walk by the garage and there's bodies. Yeah. So there was just like flaming lids everywhere. <laughs> it was really hot at once. Like you had the it was hot so you had it open and it's like, is that bodies? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, are we trending yet? Yeah, no more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's Vanya you falling asleep, grumpy. <laughs> oh, Daria. Daria. <laughs> Daria. Daria, Daria. <laughs> She's the queen of the AC. Oh God! Oh yes! Oh, the air conditioner fights. <laughs> Vanya's I'm comfort triggered. level and Gabby's comfort level are about forty degrees different. <laughs> Not That's just Vanya, like all of us, man. 
That's true. Bobby gives our feet like a freaking oven, and the rest of us are freezing inside the Las Vegas house. Dude, I'm like I'm like the food item. I'm supposed to be kept in the fridge to be preserved. <laughs> ice cream, not food. Ice cream, frozen. Yeah, I don't know how many times I had to disable and tape up the thermostat up 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 top. <laughs> One thing I just found the first Michael was writing like enough you too. This is enough. But then he was like, okay, this is a good. I was looking today. This is a good amount of the greens for human being. And then it was just you're fired, Manu, if you to <laughs> Change this and go home. <laughs> I need a refill. I'll be right back. I'll go for it. <laughs> I might need one Anyone else need a refill? If I could get a refill for everyone, I would. Yes, think. Chris. <laughs> but, <laughs> yes I know exactly. Three but, for an, for I'll, I'll, I'll be right back, everybody. See ya. <laughs> see ya. See ya. So, what's everybody drinking? <laughs> Whiskey. Beer. <laughs> yeah. Beer. Red wine. Wow, <laughs> Jeff's. <laughs> coffee, not that they give them a shout out. Yes, it's blood. <laughs> it's actually blood. <laughs> yeah, nice. Fair enough. I also have my uh, my blood from Stone uh, Bloody oh, yeah. Hog. Oh, yeah. yes. Oh, it didn't pour my beer in it. Oh. I should have. Thanks, sir. Yeah, this is one of my favorite shots in the film, Jeff. Oh, thank you. I think La Laughlin turned out so great for the yeah. short amount of time we were there. Uh, Felicity and Marnie are here. Hey there. Refill on the blood, man. <laughs> I'm a big runner, Gabby. I appreciate You got good running form. Kudos to you. And he runs <laughs> Crush it. He's killing it. Hey. <laughs> oh, man. Anya, what are you smoking? Me? <laughs> Me? Yeah, we're not in Vegas anymore, mate. <laughs> Pot. Um... <laughs> oh, there oh, comes a sexy okay. man right. on the back. Yeah, you can smoke that indoors. Just no cigarettes, okay? Yeah, no Don't worry about that. This was a tough week, guys. We need all the drugs. Yes. It's California. Yes. <laughs> Look at that stud on screen or in the movie right now. Uh. <laughs> what a hunk. You mean the one with the with the tie? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would just love to buy some umbrellas from that guy. Some umbrellas? <laughs> some umbrella. <laughs> hey, uh, Jeff. You good at one thing. <laughs> yeah. can, I, can I say something? Yeah. yeah. Want to do the private chat or email? Okay. As something, as somebody who witnessed, I'll say something. As, so, as somebody who witnessed screening in LA, I'm not yes. sure what the proportions of the screen were, but I cannot believe how much better this looks on my HD big monitor than I know to theater. But I'm just saying because I saw it recently, and I'm paying attention to the quality of the detail in the camera. It looks so much better. Like, I swear it looks so much better. Oh, cool. I noticed that as well. Yeah. Because it looked great, but this is like very, very. So yeah, there's no detail. Yeah. You can't see this detail in the theater. That's why I would. Mm -hmm. This new trend is pretty cool. Oh, um, you make another mess. <laughs> God damn it. Do you guys remember when we were shooting this scene how you were trying to get something and then there was a heart shape of the blood? Yes. <laughs> and I don't yeah, know. It's if spilled like a perfect heart shape. shape. Dude, I look jacked here. How big was I? <laughs> <laughs> how big were you? <laughs> I mean, I'm still kind of that, but like here, for some reason, here I look really small. <laughs> You like, you know why? Okay, let me tell you. When we were drinking, when I was drinking this thing Alethea made, it was pretty much just coffee and sugar. So I would get all like my car, my, my car, you know, ATPA. <laughs> fill out, you know, with the carbs. Maybe that's why you were so hot all the time. Yeah. <laughs> 
No, well, no. it was 115 no. degrees. <laughs> that's the worst time to not meant to Nevada. be ingested that much. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have to say, I agree more, Michael. Dude, I have to say, we fucking executed this movie. This was shot like a military style and still kept all the artistic integrity. And then Jeff Black was doing like the triangular positions of mixing and creating music, mixing and creating art for the movie set and the pieces, and then coming on the set to do some else and doing to record and be on the box while mixing it. And it's not. We were just executing it. I love it. <laughs> keep reminding me when I'm watching because I'm like remembering, oh, Jeff was sitting there, Michael was here, Nico was here, and Alitia was holding me. He, like, uh, he got giving me secretly something. Like remembering this thing, he was like giving me secretly like a glass to smash or something. She was like right next to me, but out of the shot, like holding the, remember? Yeah. Right oh, before, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's that's execution, man. We, we yeah, we had a lot of tricks for those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah Lethia brought a lot of tricks to this thing to pull off some uh, some, some of the crazy gore effects. effects. <laughs> oh yeah, and they all look amazing. That's one one comment I've gotten was that how uh, how realistic the blood looked, and they were asking, you know, all the all the different concoctions that we put together. You can never tell that blood is CG. Never. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the motion tracking on your face, Vanya, it took forever in post. At least you got to get an Oscar just for blood, not even one just for blood and one for makeup. Yes. <laughs> just want to say hi to Reza. Hey, Reza. Thanks so much for joining. Hi, Reza. Oh, I do wish Sarah was here to talk about this scene with you guys. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. If oh, Sarah was here, we have to bleep out the whole conversation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. There she is. So, while you're watching this, keep in mind, Adam Scholler is in the trunk of that vehicle, <laughs> monitoring. Sound and picture. But three mics. <laughs> yeah, three mics. Uh, uh, Jeff Ryan's in the passenger seat of the vehicle with um, probably about like uh, five to six thousand dollars worth of cameras strapped to his face. He's, he's facing the back, obviously. So if that car stops, he's going straight through the windshield. <laughs> But it won't be that because I'm driving a U-Haul with a tow rig on it, communicating by walkie-talkie. And they're like, when you hear the scream, I want you to slam on the brakes. It's like, okay, just wait for the scream. And Alethea is sitting next to me in the passenger seat, having no idea what's being filmed. And she's just like brushing her hair and <laughs> like... We're going around the block. We're around. We're around. <laughs> That's all happening. It's just like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and there's Sarah. Listen, my hair is very long. It got tangled very easily. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. I remember Jeff after you guys shot this scene, but I feel so bad about this. And we're in a funk for like a couple of days. Yeah. yeah, it was pretty brutal to shoot. Yeah, Put yeah. Sarah through some uh, some pretty rough stuff in this one. Plus, you know, we're in a car with no air conditioning in Vegas in okay. August. I got to say that Sarah actually did like a stunt at that scene. So basically what Jeff was instructing her is as she should. She was supposed to hit herself against the thing while I'm holding her so I wouldn't have to do it. And she was really going for it. So I think that contributed to her like feeling because she was just being, you know, slammed. I've watched this scene so many times and I, it's still hard to watch. Yeah, it's brutal. Uh -huh. Yeah. I must say, this is not how I usually treat my passengers in the Uber. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I do not carry vodka with me. <laughs> I really like that moment when it goes between all of the characters that are still alive in the car. And everyone's just like, you know, exhausted. Mm -hmm. While, while I was editing this scene, Sarah, Sarah was actually staying here for a while. And so I'd be in the studio editing. editing. And, and both Jeff and Sarah were staying here, and I would be up at like, or I'd still be up at 8 a.m. And I'd go in the kitchen to brew some coffee, and she'd be waking up. And she'd come in all cheery and like, good morning. And I'd been editing her suffering like this all night. And I'd just be like, oh, I can't even look at you. <laughs> Dude, you know what's funny? You know what's funny? I'm watching us watching that. Ah, uh, it's a watch exception. <laughs> I'm in an endless loop of watching us. <laughs> we, we lost elite. Yeah, oh, we did. She's oh, gone. No. Oh. This is it's, it's yeah. like that movie Host where everyone yeah. gets yes. killed off one by one. <laughs> People are getting murdered in the movie and during oh. the watch party. This is we know what you're hoping totally that doesn't do. happen. <laughs> Great, yeah. A movie within a movie, we just start disappearing. <laughs> Listen, if this was that movie, I'd be the first to go. Right? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I would say, I don't know if uh, the actor Rob is on, but uh, uh, he did a phenomenal job as a Uber driver here. Yeah. yeah. yeah a lot of the, uh, Rob was amazing. Uh, Simon, who was in the scene as well. We had so yeah, the, many uh, amazing, amazing talents from Vegas. Vegas. Uh, really, really just incredible to work with. They brought so much to their roles. And just good people too. Like still stay in touch and just, yeah, we got really fortunate shooting there. Yeah, Rob, bless him. Well, first of all, he did amazing in his audition. Uh, yeah. And then amazing in the callback. But then those three, I think he only did two of the three nights. He didn't want to, like, hang out with us because obviously of, you know, what the scene required him to do. But he served in the military. And I know this, this scene, like, really messed him up. But he really used it. And he was just kind of sat in his car, like, really trying to. <laughs> I felt so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Uh, Jen, I think you saying, Jen, I'm complimenting the lighting, so I want to say, remember how I how we would talk about this stuff, and you said that this camera specifically shoots really well in the dark. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, we had a special camera just for uh, some of the night exteriors. Uh, the which one is it? The Sony. Yeah, thank you, A7 III. Uh, with a PL yeah, mount for some cinema primes, and yeah, yeah it allowed us to do stuff we wouldn't be able to do otherwise. You know, being able to do night exteriors in the desert where you have a horizon line, uh, it's just unheard of on any other cameras. So, it really allows us to live in the night and capture it as it is. It's amazing because when I try to shoot stuff at night after with different cameras, I realize how hard it is to actually get anything but grain, you know? Yes. This is still clean and we are in absolute dark here. Like this is insane to me that I can see this clearly. Yeah. yeah. There was no like light inside. Like I don't think we had any like a uh, light on set. There was just car like a street light basically. That yeah, we just put a uh, diffusion over the window. Off in the light and that was it. Yeah, exactly. Wow. So I should cut down on the light. <laughs> exactly. Cutting down on the light. That's crazy. Nothing than nothing better than biting in a neck in desert heat. <laughs> so refreshing. It was so gross because we were all sweaty and then you have to like that was just we were sweaty, you were sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Alicia, she was dealing with what am I gonna do? About? We were all like jammed in this car, but like <laughs> I had a friend watch it when I told him it first came out. He's like, is, is the guy playing uh okay. is Vanya just always wet? Is he just like 
Confident, yes. Yes, he is. Yeah. yeah. I got to say, this is how Jeff was sitting in the back seat with the camera. He was on the top of the chair like this, trying to like get everything right, and then moving to get our reactions and in the car that's moving. I mean, it's nuts. This is one of my favorite scenes. Oh, yeah. this We got so lucky with this liquor store. I mean, we got lucky with all of our locations, but it's just... Yeah, this is the one we robbed the easier. <laughs> <laughs> One, One take, take on this. this is <laughs> One take. <laughs> Nailed it. Nice oh, job, Addy. Totally you kept it in focus, too. <laughs> Meanwhile, all of us are hiding behind all the alcohol. <laughs> when they like move the camera around, we like huddle around so the camera wouldn't catch us. <laughs> <laughs> all the reflections. Like scurrying on the floor. <laughs> Your air conditioners in that room were so loud, though. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I am glad that we had the uh, night camera, though, because otherwise we've been dragging around all these uh, generators everywhere. I don't think we could have done that. We didn't have the crew over budget that and stuff. <laughs> well, no. Notice the Prius is missing a light. We really should have put the Prius in the credits as a character. Oh, um, yeah, she did great. <laughs> Yeah, she's still alive too. Yes, she she's still covered in a red velvet cake mix. She's bloody. Yeah, yeah she still has blood stains all over the back seat. <laughs> remember, remember, uh, remember me going to go get our late night meal, and I got pulled yes. over. Oh, oh my gosh! gosh. Yeah. And the cops saw the blood stains in the back of the car and asked me to get out, and I had to quickly explain what we were doing. <laughs> we're, I was in. Uh, Pioneer, right? Uh, you, uh, you got you guys were filming at the Atomic, and we uh, okay. just got done with all of this. And I went to go get uh, uh, dinner for everybody, and a cop pulled me over because that headlight was out. And then he saw the blood stains in the back of the seat, and I, I had to quickly explain what was going on. You were like hand him the permit. You're like, I, I swear this is what we're doing. Blood is in the title of the film. It is. Yeah. It is. That's fair. I'm glad you two went in the booth. You know? Do it for I didn't even know that. Was your heart racing? Like, that's scary. Well, at, at, at first I wasn't sure what the hell was going to happen because, uh, you know, he asked me to get out. He had his hand on his uh, on his gun and he was uh, wanting an explanation why there was blood all over the back seat. Oh, he actually asked you? Oh, yes. Yeah, and I explained to him that we were making a movie and look at this and I showed him at least I had a call sheet in the car and uh, he checked it out and it he could tell that it wasn't real blood so then he let me go. But it... <laughs> You know, two two o'clock in the morning. I'm heading to the to the sandwich stop shop to pick up something, and yeah, it wasn't good. That's crazy. Could have gone on. <laughs> well, I would just tell him that blood thirsty. Me and my friend, we were we were fighting, and uh, he he was just pushing. I want to go. They were both under twenty one, were they? So they'd never been drunk before in their lives or something like that? They were so, young. They were very young. girls were great. They were great. That's they did great. Yeah. Natural. Dude, when we didn't get bit by a snake or a spider. Oh, that? Oh, Alicia. There's, There's the big star. star. There she is. Yeah, everybody did a cameo appearance. Pretty much everybody. Yeah. It's just what happened. <laughs> Yes, they do, Joe. Yes, they do. Yeah, they did a great job. Vegas cops were so nice there. Oh no, they were they were awesome, especially what you'll see later. And you know, we had to shut down some streets. They were they, they were very cooperative. It was very uh it, it was actually made too easy. They got so nice. I mean, every morning, Mike, Michael would bail me out, and they would be more awesome. <laughs> Yes. They got to know me well. <laughs> Look at this ranch, man. When I think of this ranch, oh, my God, that ranch. The, the, all the chickens? 
the chickens and the animals. roosters. Dude, you call it the ranch. I call it the murder shack because that's what it looks like. <laughs> what did you call it? <laughs> the murder shack. The murder shack. And I also remember there being so many wasps inside. So I'm holding the boom pole like this and having wasps crawl inside my clothes and then doing the shots as we're doing it. <laughs> Oh man. Uh, great this job. This is where uh, this famous line comes into play. Elin the pig. Late. This is the scene I know you were so happy to do, Bobby. I'd like to state that I'm an incredibly good actor. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> this is an incredibly <laughs> fictional persona. Yeah. It's totally yeah. acting. This is not whiskey here. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I don't even drink whiskey. <laughs> you learned your lesson. Not anymore. I love the, the little subtle things like the hand warmers and everything. Smart. The lights. Well written. Well written. Basically, every time you see Gabby on the screen, I'm somewhere sleeping. And when every time you see me on the screen, Gabby is somewhere sleeping. And when you see us both together on the screen, that Photoshop, when she was rested and when I was rested, composed together. It's like the film Heat. <laughs> The biggest comment I get is that who's bigger in the film, me or Vanya? And it's always like up for debate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jeff was really good at editing, so I think he kind yeah. of made me much bigger. Yeah. I, even <laughs> on post, on. I hate, hate posts. Yeah, this is actually Vanya's real size in this frame right now. He's a tiny little guy. Well, this is basically what you guys are seeing here. This is basically Bobby's head placed on me. Because Bobby was not <laughs> It's like a deep fake, basically. Yes. That's why post-production took so long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jeff, you also wanted Vanya's character to like be bigger in frame, so you shot a lot of his stuff on tighter lenses, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I did that, you know, lower, that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah I kept it pretty tight on him. It is Brianna. Hey, Brianna. You see, I never, I never thought of Vegas when thinking about vampires. But when you think about it realistically, if you really had that in your life, like when you think you're a vampire, you want to live in Vegas, right? It's like night scene is really developed. People live at night there pretty much, and you can sleep in throughout the day. There's no like light coming in through those thick curtains in hotels or nothing. It's just perfect. Seems wrong to me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's also a transient town. I mean, it's mostly tourists. So, you know, if somebody goes missing, it's nobody notices. A big chunk of people go missing. <laughs> I will say, I did love sitting in casinos. The light is constant all the time. We don't have to do between anything. Yeah. Ah, no, the, the, the casino worked out. Just like I said, all the other locations, the casino looked out, worked out perfectly. That's another one of those where we had a 2 a.m. call time every morning. We were able to shoot in there from 2 a.m. to 10 a.m. Uh, that, that was our window every day for uh, the six days that we were there. Oh, my God, 
<laughs> Were we really there till 10 a.m.? That's that. That was our that was our deal. We had to be out of there by 10 a.m. because uh, the actual uh, lounge opened up at 11. I remember one morning we wrapped early, like maybe at I don't know six or eight. Who knows? And then me and Vanya went to the grocery shopping for the whole house for the week ahead. <laughs> so we're like semi covered in blood, like think of that. We were just like, you know, buying eggs and milk. Explaining to people how, you know, it was just one of those nights. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Got my refill. Nice. <laughs> Is it A or, or B type? Me, me too. <laughs> a, 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 B. A, B. I go for the O myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's preferable. Victor, wasn't it? Victor, yes. This is actually shot in El Monte, um, in in LA area, but um, the actress from Vegas. And because we had to change location for various reasons, he drove, did he drive or fly? He drove in. To do this scene and then, and then went all the way back, bless him. Oh wait, Mika, is this, is this in a police station? What's yeah. the question? Mm -hmm. He was asking if it was at a, at a police station. Yeah. yeah. The, the location, the location. Oh, that's right, you weren't there. Yeah. Not, yeah, not that night. That's me when me and uh, yeah, that, that yeah, that's the same thing. I don't know if Eric's on, but uh, yes, yeah, this is uh, hello, Eric. He's made his appearance in the film. Yeah, yeah he couldn't make it tonight, but uh, yeah, we had Eric, uh, Eric actually lives in New York, and uh, uh, but he flew out for his scene, so he had to come out a couple times. <laughs> yeah, you guys maybe know him as Eric. I know him as a guy who was in my restroom asking me, is this your toothbrush? Like, <laughs> excuse me? Right. No, there was another one. Didn't he tempt you oh, your, oh, your spinach? Is that my underwear? Who are you? <laughs> no, 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 The guy who ate my sandwich, it was something. <laughs> Vanya was in character. Yeah. You intimidated him, but he did. He was terrified of Vanya. He was terrified. But you think you think I was terrifying? Sarah took took it over the top with whatever she was talking about. So Sarah standing right through the roof. Oh yeah, I think the first thing, Eric. So we got we get home after a night shoot. Like I think this is a weekend, so we're all a little crazy at this point. And he just lands and arrives, knowing that he has to sleep during the day. And so we just arrive on that. I think the first thing Sarah shouts is something utterly obscene and perverted. And he was like, okay. That was the first thing we talked about in front of Eric. <laughs> oh, he did a great job. <laughs> I love how sweet and wholesome Victor is. He has no idea what movie he's in. <laughs> yeah. Not this guy. This guy definitely is an innocent. Joe's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> on. We, we, all know Joe, we all know Joe's on. Say hi to Joe. Joe. Hi, Joe. What's up, Joe? Joe. We love you. <laughs> we love you, You're so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tommy. Yeah, take Tommy. All of oh, the Marble Shack memories. <laughs> yeah. 
again, uh, uh, you know, a, a, uh, a both to the, the Las Vegas actors, they were uh, uh, the, the pool that we had to choose from was, was great. Yeah. The taxi driver was real. It came with the house. <laughs> <laughs> we know how that uh, lion, or what is it, mountain lion? We know yeah. we know how it got killed. Like we heard the whole story from this like uh, seventy-something-year-old who went <laughs> to own the house. He <laughs> killed it with a fishing rod, if I remember correctly, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I remember uh, Joe came on his birthday to do this too. <laughs> it was Joe's birthday when he did this. Yeah, it was like Joe's birthday. Oh, yeah, it was. Yeah. There was no place else he would rather be than on set with us. That's, that's exactly what I was about to say. <laughs> and Alethea applying bloody prosthetics to his face. I gotta tell you, a lot of people like And tattoos. He had tattoos and on tattoos. his fingers. Yeah. He's, trying, he's like getting them in the shot. Hey, Jeff, a lot of people actually told me that they had a good time in this scene because of the interaction between me and the pimp, Joe. Now, the thing is like, it, I'm being very pushy to make him drink liquor. At this point in the movie, I think it has been established many times yeah. through the plot of basically vampires, you know, at least my guy you know, drinks blood that has uh, alcohol in it to get drunk. So that's why he's being so pushy because he wants him liquored up so he can kill him. But it's funny because it's like, he's really like, you're gonna have it. Like, I'll get to it. I'll get to it. You're gonna, have it. You're gonna have it now. How about now? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's okay. right. Day two is your birthday. Mm -hmm. Also, another thing we had three times. Okay, we had three opportunities to shoot this scene. Uh, one glass was actually already broken, so we couldn't do that. Almost. Right. So we had two. And the first one, I broke the glass properly, but I didn't say something. I, I, I messed up. And then the, the, the last one, we had an issue because Joe Lubinsky, the actor, because his costume was already bloody, so we had to flip the shirt on the side. Like, <laughs> yeah, I remember. Out. And I was so stressed out. I think everybody was coming like, come on, man. Because I was like, I don't want this thing to be lost. Because Jeff was basically saying, like, if we mess this up, I don't even want to like keep this pill. And I was like, oh, shit. And then we were really focusing for him to swallow that glass to, like, to make it look, you know. Oh, this is a cute scene. Cute scene. I just love, love the juxtaposition between yeah, Gabby and Eric looking all adorable in this scene. Yeah. And Vanya looking like, you know, Vanya. Vanya. <laughs> but at this point in the movie, you don't see Gabby as adorable. You see her as a, like a hidden tiger. Like she's that woman who can just like lift heavy, drink your blood, kill you. But you know, so in this scene, he appears. Spoilers, Vanya. I was gonna say, you're giving it away, dude. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, we saw her. We saw her doing slow. Spoilers. Oh, there's people watching. There's people watching. watching. I don't want to give away spoilers. Gabby's actually a real vampire, which is why we had to do night shoots. Yes. <laughs> she, yeah, this is a story. She put a blanket against her window so she just lived in the dark. <laughs> Are you seriously telling me about the spoilers when Gabby is killing a dude in a trailer? <laughs> Gabby is literally choking Steven in a trailer. <laughs> Like that's <laughs> this robe, I can't. This robe. I think it's probably my favorite. That's way a long time ago. Oh, I have the robe. You still have it. Oh. Yeah, you sh you should be wearing it right now. Yes, put it on. Should <laughs> be. Oh, here it comes. Mm. Well, what a day, honestly. Uh, <laughs> I gotta tell you, I watched the movie without sound, and it's just as good. <laughs> oh, there you go. Ah, there you go. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> that taxi dummy. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. 
It's the big cat for me. Actually, it was more the porcelain dolls around the bed that creeped me out. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. There she is. Found those at a goodwill the day of. Mm -hmm. It took, it took forever, forever to find a woman's floral bathrobe, bathrobe that would fit Vanya. <laughs> I wouldn't say it fits him. <laughs> actually, actually yeah, wrapped like around him and his arms could get through. Get through. Yeah. Oh! oh. Wow. Joe with his eyes. He, was, he just like played it and played it. <laughs> I was hoping how my mother. <laughs> That's art, baby. Yes, it is, baby. Yep. I think that crappy steak was grosser than Joe's scene. <laughs> oh. oh, thanks. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. Yeah, you literally. <laughs> <laughs> Man, oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> True, True love. love. You taste delicious. We're on the same Romance. Yep. <laughs> Guys, that's how you make a little heart cut. <laughs> that's a hot, a hot transition. That's great. Okay. Hey, you didn't have me to stir. Oh. There you go. Okay, there's an influence. <laughs> no, not at all. No. no. <laughs> I love the lighting here. The casting for this character was difficult. Difficult, but amazing. Tommy yeah. killed it. But yeah, it was tough yeah. to find someone. The character yeah, was no. difficult. It was really hard to find a woman that would do this with me in the show. <laughs> no. <laughs> Context. <laughs> <laughs> I remember in the house during this scene, it was like you and obviously the actors and myself were like the only ones that were awake. Yeah. Where everybody else is like strewn about the trailer, just passed Sleeping out. Sleeping on the floor. We've been like shooting for like 17 hours straight. <laughs> Alethea was awake. Alethea was awake. Yeah. That was show was sometimes. Yeah. I was asleep upside down in the armchair next to the mountain. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I think I was doing the like armchair legs up on the arms and head on the other arm type of thing. Yeah. At one point, a battery was low on the camera, and I went to tell Adesola to use that the monitor. Like this. And I just woke him up and I was like, Eddie, battery. And I was like, oh. <laughs> 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 you're very gracious. You could have gotten upset about that. I mean, it was like day 17 or, or night 17. Fine, yeah. Yeah. Do you remember this scene? Like how many tricks we had to do coming up? Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember how the scene was. <laughs> yeah. This, is a, this was actually on a technical level one of the most difficult scenes we did. Yeah. Why? It doesn't seem like it, but it really was. Can you remind me what was We'll just watch the blood, first. the fangs, and, and just yeah. because I made it difficult because the way I shot it. <laughs> but all my are talking about Tammy and me or me and Joe? You and, uh, you and Tommy. But this one, you and Tommy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This, this specific is, one was very difficult. Also, she's new. We had to hide blood and the fangs, and you had oh, to. Right. Yeah, you're right. I just remembered. Yeah, you have to hide them somehow, right? And I was hiding on the yeah. other side of that bed, waiting for her to drop the glass. 
was. Like, oh my god! Right. Man. Yeah. <laughs> I was. I was in a corner of that room. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Right. I, was so, I forgot. It was twenty years. Find this type cost. <laughs> I like how this movie does not, you know, it's not a slave to any color scheme specifically. Like today's movies, the way they make them, basically they say, we're gonna have it be blue and whatever. And then you have this scope of 20 different hues of pretty much. And then, I mean, I know that's a like desirable look today for some movies, but this movie, in my opinion, has a really good bounce around with like, okay, now we want this scene to be cold. We want the scene to be warm. This is gonna look like a brothel. This is gonna look like it's really, like it's big devotion to light and color schemes and, and different spectres. It's not like specifically one. You guys, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Oh yeah. All right. I think Jeff was just making it up. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're making everything up as you go. Yeah. yeah. Like, I know what I was doing. Just figuring out as I went. I'm like, wait, wait you're supposed to have a color palette. <laughs> wait, is the ball for the color palette? Yes. Yeah, this is this was the color palette of the movie right here. <laughs> I was joking with uh, you guys all know him, uh, or at least know of him. My buddy Jaron uh, told him that since he wasn't here to shoot this one, I just want to hog wild with the colors since I didn't have to worry about him limited in one color. So it's my first movie without him, so I just used all the colors. Oh, what the <laughs> Don't make your next movie black and white. <laughs> no, exactly. I'm colorblind and I love it. So, Aww. whatever you do, so Steve, I can see that. I mean, you know what my favorite part about this shoot was is that your parents came down to watch us yes. uh, murder people, and uh, which I, they brought the yeah. brownies and chocolate cookies. And it's just they did all of us behind the camera just. <laughs> The guys, the guys. Yeah. <laughs> Cringy. <laughs> look at the like costume trousers. Another one would kill me. They have really offensive. Like that's a true horror story. Yeah. Khaki trousers. I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> well, we should see what we're. How many nights were we in this location? You remember Michael? You know? <laughs> Four nights in the casino. Yeah. We we were uh, we were at the casino for six nights total, but we were in this lounge for uh, for four nights. Yeah. Mm. So uh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, we lived there. That uh, that that great little lounge right in the middle of the uh, hotel. <laughs> mm -hmm. Give a shout out to the El Cortez that uh, was very uh, very gracious for us to. Uh, uh, come in there. They were very happy. I did Bobby, get I love your improv of uh, <laughs> <Mike. laughs> <laughs> it's just so, so classy. classy. So, so you. <laughs> I do. I did. I did enjoy it when on the Blu-ray where you have the uh, extras and it's me. Oh, the bonus features. And Gabby. Uh, yeah, the best <laughs> name. <laughs> Mike. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gabby's reaction really that like kills it. She's just like <laughs> so we have in the uh, for those who haven't seen it on the blue ray, we have a blooper thing. There's a whole section where Bobby's trying to get Gabby, who's in character, to just smile. And he, and he fails, fails over and over and over. And over. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Some A grade pickup lines, but they just oh, yeah. they weren't working. Here's me with the mic. See, this is all CGI. <laughs> <laughs> I love how bored she looks. Oh, let me try. <laughs> <laughs> You had your chance. Mom was taking over. <laughs> One thing though, if, if it's not working, why is he keep repeating the motion? Uh, what do you, you know, I mean, Bobby, Bobby had to do it, but you know how they say, right "Write what you know." know. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> For anyone who doesn't never learned how to please someone, I'm sorry. <laughs> 
Oh boy. Oh my god. <laughs> my whole memory of these like was it one or two nights? Was it one night? Maybe? This was one night. Mm. I remember hiding under a desk or something. Oh yes. <laughs> Poor Alicia. She was always hiding. She can't just be there. <laughs> She's technically in the shot, but not visible. Yeah. <laughs> They say if you, if you play Blood from Stone movie backwards, it's all Alitia. Uh-oh. Rot row. It's delicious. There she goes. I love this kill ah. so much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Die really well, man. Yeah, you do. It's the best kill. No offense. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> This was a one tape kill. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, blood looks yeah. extra good in this one. Look at the blood on his face dripping down his face, down his cheek. Look and at he was this. Going into his eyes. Yeah, <laughs> and he, he powered through it. <laughs> Dude, Bobby, you, you killed it on this one too. The way like you just like came, came up, up just at the right, right moment. So, so good. good. Just for a little look, breather. Oh my yeah. god, look at this one. Blood yeah. his eyes. Mm. Uh, poor Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time I was like, the blood's in his eye. <laughs> the same shot. The whole time I was like, the blood's in my eye. <laughs> Bobby, are you putting this in the real? <laughs> <laughs> like, look how long is that shot. Just for people watching, this is something you will not see today in the movies. It's not going to fucking happen. This shot was 30 seconds, and the whole shot was special effect but it's that's not the reason it was 30 seconds that's how long it took jeff to realize okay i want this terror to keep going for 30 seconds i work in visual effects everything i get to work on is four seconds the longest <laughs> you don't get to see anything extra except for people staring if there's any action this was a murder this is like a, such a long shot that lets you actually experience that terror. It's not some like jumpy cutting bullshit that we see today. It's excellent. There actually is a digital effect in this one. I removed Bobby's breathing in this shot. Oh my god! Yeah. Yep. I tried to man. Sorry. Ah, okay. I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, you tried it. You did well, well, but after a while, you started breathing again. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> Please help a professional. You you uh, I love the. But we yeah. did actually yeah. stick to the in a suitcase here. here. And I actually didn't yeah. take it easy. Dude, did you really fit in there? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you just snuggled up like a little bug. <laughs> That looks cozy. You <laughs> 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 left him in there. I'm going back to Vegas. <laughs> like Abby's pretty really strong in real life. She is actually. <laughs> I am. There's Bobby right there. There he is. He's <laughs> <Bobby, laughs> in heels. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bobby, who you're here with? I'm with my boyfriend. Where is he? He's in the back. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's nuts that you were able to actually fit in there. I would I mean, it, it wouldn't totally fix. We couldn't close it all the way, but, you know, it it's worked enough to shot. That, that and some sound design. So it's kind of like she's closing it pretty good. And just the pure fact that Gabby can toss. Bobby 20 feet, that's fascinating. <laughs> the, you, so Can we shout out to Vanya's Prius? <laughs> yes, Vanya, your Prius is a star. Prius number two. Yeah. First of all, I drive Lambo, not Prius. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Vanya, you still got that, still got that Ferrari? Which one? The red one or the blue one? The blue one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why don't you <laughs> Hey, yeah. Before it was scored and when it was scored, and uh, it was, it's a really good scene on everyone's level in terms of like blood, the camera, Gabby's acting, and all that stuff. But when when Jeff collected the score for that, it just it brought it to a whole nother level. And I, I, yeah. I love how long you can stay on Gabby when she's, when she's up in the air because of his score. Oh. It's beautiful. It changes. Thanks, man. Thank yeah. you. We did that um, in this room we're sitting in right now. Yeah. 
it's beautiful. Yeah, I remember he started. Uh, we got an old Casio or he, uh, from my parents when they were moving, and uh, he I came in and he had it hooked up to a bunch of his guitar pedals, and he just created that like just ringing deep tone that pulses through it with the old Casio. Yeah, it's just like the piano sound on this uh, Casio M140, which is basically a toy, but it sounds. Very scary with a bunch of reverb, a little bit of distortion. And it just, it was like fun to play along with that scene. I was just like, we're just going to live in that note. Yeah. We ended up working, I guess. Oh, there's Nika on the screen. There's Victoria. Oh, Victoria's here. Rath is seen as always, right? I'm a little bit jet lagged. <laughs> I remember when we were doing this bit in the apartment, Vaughn was instructed to not come downstairs, but he did every 10 minutes to get like a sandwich. We're in the I can I just get a banana? We're in the middle of the tank. It's 5 a.m. Go to bed. I'll be out soon. Oh, what are you guys shooting? Oh, it looks really good. Great job. All right, I'll see you later. <laughs> I love you for remembering that, bro. That was so much. Yeah, we remembered it, dude, because we were trying to make a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Just a real quick snack. The funny thing is, like, Jeff can hear me even upstairs in the room because he's all mic'd up in the booth, in the box with the thing. So Jeff can literally hear everything on the set and the outside world, literally, in the... And then I'm wondering, like, why can he hold my step down the, down the creaky stairs? You know? Like he's getting closer. <laughs> yeah. Stop, stop rolling. Nika looks so aristocratic in this one. <laughs> She's fancy. I'm in character. Yeah. Just the, house was, just the way the she house was fully duvetine at this point, right? Yeah, yeah, you had to do between the whole house yeah. for this scene because the sun kept rising. Turn off the sun. Come on. <laughs> but didn't we have like a tapered window? Like a, we put stuff on the windows, right? Yeah, yeah that was actually achievable. Every because we could control where we put the duvetine because it was our house. Yeah. There was a lot of windows. There was that kitchenette area. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot, lot to cover. This is very hot. <laughs> so everybody wears a floral bathrobe, and there we go. See, bathrobe game. Yeah, it's bathrobe game strong. I actually had an interview where they asked me what the symbolism behind the floral bathrobes was. I'm like, coincidence? <laughs> it's the one like visual motif I hadn't really considered or thought about ahead of time. The one they asked, yeah. Yeah, of course. The thing is, I always assumed that like the floral bathroom was something that Vanya found at the location. And yet, at the same time, like, who the hell is living at this location with a gigantic floral bathroom that was set for Vanya? I would actually have probably been more appropriate if it was like, two sizes too small for him. Actually, Jeff uh, Jeff took that bathroom and he told me he put it in a machine with, what, what did you say? You, you, you ducked the... the Jeff blacked it. What did you, you put it through tea, coffee? coffee. It was like fermenting in the bathtub here. With, with coffee, coffee and black tea, tea and, and like maybe, maybe actual blood. blood. I don't really even know. <laughs> 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 they were like days though. Yeah. We didn't shower, like just made it dirty. <laughs> Hasn't yeah, been washed since actually. Oh my god. Oh, it still smells like Vanya. Vanya. It's quite a bit off. <laughs> what happened to Alethea? She's not with us in the in the thing anymore. I think she she says she, she cannot re-enter. Yeah. She what? She, she, oh, maybe she's oh. back. She's oh, back. There she is. Hi. Hi, Alethea. Here she is. It said it was full. I think it's back. Ah. 
Listen, Alicia, they blocked you for a second. I, I told them to, to stop doing that, so you're back. Yeah, I only wanted to trash talk you for a minute, so he didn't want you here. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, no. the, set the, the, the sweat makeup apparently wasn't convincing. He's still mad at you for not giving him real makeup. Oh, oh there's Michael's wife. Oh, there's Jen. Oh, hi. Jen. <laughs> Jen. <laughs> And that's Michael's house. <laughs> Everybody can see what my what my purse looks like. We tried so hard to get your cat Bob to be in this. I know. I like, right? Remember that? Yeah. yeah. He was in every practice day. Yeah. <laughs> he decided to come visit. Yeah. I have a Sphinx cat for anybody out there wondering why that yeah, hairless a cat. Yeah. Maybe he's, he's awesome. <laughs> Bob. 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 Bob gets a shout out. Bob. <laughs> I think Gabby's there at these kids is so good at this movie. Mm -hmm. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Gabby, my dad is texting me. He said, Gabby is good. Oh, <laughs> your dad's so sweet. Uh. <laughs> Oh, I hear a cat. Come on. An echo. Can you put her like in the in the frame? Yeah, can we see her? There she is. Oh. So Look at the camera. Look at the camera. <laughs> no, there's no way she's gonna look. Oh, <laughs> oh, there's the soulless eyes. Is that Pafufa? No, you're gonna get it. Jeff, is that Pafufa or Oh, this is Sinisa's. Nico, every part. time I, I see you on screen, I just get flashbacks of a lot of hair. Lots of hair. You did so good Action. on her hair, though. Everyone tells me, oh my god, they did your hair and makeup for that movie. You look insane. Everyone. Yeah. No one mentions the hair. Uh, <laughs> everyone makes a comment on the hair and makeup. And I'm like, yep, that's Alethea. <laughs> You're acting. You're saying that too, right there. Oh, my god. Oh, yeah, I mean, come on. <laughs> come on. Hey, I was still drinking that. It's my favorite line. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, CGI in that one, too. The uh, blood coming out of his chest is CGI there. Oh, so, oh really? Yeah. yeah. Oh that, wow. That's really fun. That looks really real. Yeah, it does. I think of that. Poor Tommy. Mm -hmm. Nikki, do you remember how he takes that joke because the blanket kept getting caught on a nail in the door? Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> yeah, this was after like 10 hours of shooting Vanya scene with Tommy after I had all my naps. So yeah, felt like the never ending day. <laughs> And the chickens were crowing outside. <laughs> I remember for this, uh, we were at this location before, and uh, Gabby's husband and Sarah went to go get the dress, right? and they left it. They left the dress at our house where we were at the time, and drove all the way back to the location. <laughs> And then we're like, wait, 45 minutes. Yeah, <laughs> drove all the way back. When I saw the car leaving, I was like, wait a second. And you're like, didn't I get you? That was like, shot. They found it in like the middle of the street. And no one had taken it. That was supposed to be a secret that nobody knew about. <laughs> but yeah, at this point, right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Exposed. 
I love that cat. Michael, did you just find out about that? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, where are they? I'm like, they're coming. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Stuck in traffic. Mika, Why are we rehearsing favorite. again? Why are we rehearsing again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love this moment, Vanya, when you lose your voice for real. You look so pissed off. <laughs> John Wayne zombie outfit. Yes. <laughs> love it. I've seen this movie a trillion times. I still enjoy the uh, chemistry between uh, between Vanya and Nika. You just feel like a brother sister duo. Yes. Yeah. Nika, that line, the Rob Zombie line, was that was that that stutter intentional, or was that just a take that he took? I don't remember. I was intentional. Yeah. You're trying to make like, the whole Rob Zombie thing didn't make sense to your character. So. Yeah. yeah. I remember that was like a big deal, but it was so ridiculous to me that that's what he was trying to do. Yeah. 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 Was it in the script? Probably one of my favorite lines. <laughs> was okay. I mean, not to have like a stutter, but just the the zombie Bob. Yeah. 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 I just remember looking at him thinking, you pathetic. <laughs> you used to be a lord of a country, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I remember in the scene, I was working the projector up in the projection room. That's right. And sorry, I kept telling Jeff to signal me, and he had Ed to do it. The thing is, I mean, it was a black in the room, and Ed was wearing all black like a ninja. And going like this, I'm like, I don't see anything because of the <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I still had to start flashing a flashlight at me for me to get the signal. Yes. Yeah. Dude, I love the reaction of this guy who was watching the movie. He just stood up and he's like, fuck, he just left. Like, <laughs> It was actually based on a real experience. I was watching, uh, when I was a teenager, I was watching... Gus Van stands to die for. And there's a dude about three seats in front of me with headphones on, blasting death metal. And every now and then he'd yell up series when he took Nicole Kidman on screen. And then at one point he got up screaming, This is worth it, and he stormed out. And so I just put it in here. Wait, dude, that's like a real thing. That's amazing. Yeah. I and the actor is the same guy. guy. <laughs> That's why I told you look so natural. Like, was so it was, it was also cool too. I remember the guy's name. Uh, a buddy of mine worked at that theater, and he told me, "I yeah, comes in here all the name. His name's Floyd all the time, and his name's Floyd." And I just remember that as the Brad Pitt character in True Romance. So I just remember him as Floyd, the guy that hated Nicole Kidman, apparently. But love the death metal. I love it. Look how quickly she cleans up. That's amazing. Well, she's been doing it for 400 years. She's a pro. She's a pro. I can't she's clean up throughout the whole movie. She did it in three minutes. Dude, I can do my makeup on the bus in like five minutes. I'm telling you, it's a thing. I remember that attack scene. I remember there was one take where her legs just went up in the air. Like she was just mm -hmm. doing like a handstand. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. I remember you guys were shooting this while I was sleeping upstairs, I think. It's yes, supposed you to. were. It's supposed to be. This was a tricky one just because it was a one take scene trying to get the timing right and everything. And then yeah, Jeff's music really like, makes it shine. I just realized this is no cut since the entry, right? Nope. Yeah. It's all one take from the door to the end of the scene. That was so well done, I couldn't even notice it, but now I do. It's crazy. 
I mean, it's not 1917, but you know. <laughs> There's no mail delivered. I'm missing that. Yeah, yeah, no mail got delivered. This location. Oh, I love this location. Uh, Vegas, <laughs> what's on this one? that? This was a rough night. Yes. Yeah, this is the this is the night that Steve was dragging a uh, fake dead body through the corridors of the El Cortez Casino and got caught on security camera, and they had security pay us a visit. Yeah, because they're like, why are you carrying a body? Bodies. Oh my god. Oh. One security person wasn't notified that we were up there. Yes. Oh yeah, I remember that. They came in. He's like, I'm gonna crack this case wide open. <laughs> <laughs> My memory of this whole scene is just Vanya sweating profusely, and like every time that I would run in there and like <laughs> try to mop it up. Yes. It was warm. It was warm in there. Hey, Jenny. Though. It was so it was so rat pack. You know, the entire thing was a little budget. Can you do a slide? Your camera can't, but I can. This is the dumb shit. Nika, what did you call your hair extensions? What a name for it. It was our pet. Oh, I did. I named them. I can't remember. It was a it was a it was a man name. It was a male name, I remember. <laughs> Gary. Yes, Gary. it was Gary. <laughs> Gary. <laughs> Jenny, we're all big fans of Gary. Yeah, we all are. Gabby's awesome. Gabby signed my CD. And, uh, what? Can you sign my Gabby's CD? Gabby's not even in the scene, but great actress. <laughs> this is the actual footage of me driving a car, even though I don't drive. Yeah, you can tell by the parking. <laughs> Half of the budget of this movie was paying Nika driving lessons. <laughs> what driving lessons? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You look so legit in that car. I love it. Oh, these guys. This was oh my God. to shoot. <laughs> Michael. Especially that guy at the bar. So Thank difficult you. to work with. Yeah. He was such a pain in the ass to work with. Oh. Seriously, that guy at the front of the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Which guy? That uh, one on the left, right there. That one with the yeah, cap right in the plaid, yeah, the, the plaid with the hat. <laughs> yeah, the oh, white yeah. shirt, the goatee. Oh, you never oh, trust that guy, a guy with yeah. a goatee. Never, especially one that looks like that. <laughs> yeah. Beginning of August, it was one like by the end of August, it was like we were whole. Yeah. And it got grayer and grayer as it went down. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if you that was. <laughs> the song underneath this was actually an original song written for the movie. So by a um, the band called Capes. Yeah. Oh, wait, is that a roll with the punches? Was that? Roll with the punches. Is that the name? Uh, take no, the it's the out. next one. It's the one that actually starts up right here. It's uh, okay, why am I spacing on the name? It's terrible. Take the fun out. Thank you. It's called Take the Fun Out. Oh, okay. It's the one with the female vocals that goes through the rest of the scene. Yeah, they actually wrote this for the movie, which is really nice. It's really cool. The two names yeah. who were in the location were like the most memorable for me, I think. We, you had your work cut out for you in this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one was featuring Alicia's uh, machine for blood, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, and also, this was like the high pressure one for you just in terms of the like tech behind it. Yeah, the tactical. Yeah. So you had to actually get it to spray. Yep. When I look back, I mean, no spoilers yet, but when I look back on this, I'm like, I remember just being so sleep deprived that the issue yeah. I was having was so simple. I had clamped something that wasn't supposed to be clamped. Oh, <laughs> really? Holy, we didn't rise enough. 
It was one Nothing. of those moments for me personally where like the team came together. I remember Jeff and Adishola being like, let's try these things. Because we tried like two, it was supposed to be like a one take ride. It was a one take. take. Well, we got the one take, but there were a couple false starts. Before Here it comes. Damn. 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 One take, can you do it? Sure, why yeah. not? <laughs> you only have like one shirt too. There's, There's a cut yeah. in here because it didn't end up being one take. This, this there it is. Yeah. This is probably the most one of the most disgusting scenes in this movie, and that's really hard to get. Love it. Ah, it's so cool. Oh yeah. Oh. Shit. Single malt, cold press, <laughs> extra virgin. There we go. <laughs> Nicely done, Alethea. <laughs> wow. I really like the song. Wow. And scene. We killed Michael. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Michael went to get a sweater. Yes. Dixie went to get a sweater with his shirt all bloody. I have that picture actually. I need to post it. Joe says Michael on tap. He's always so <laughs> yeah. Let's <laughs> 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 Bob. Surround him. <laughs> All right. We Trivia about this scene. I smoked about 120 cigarettes in this scene. <laughs> oh my god, yes. In the in the morning, there was like literally 40 cigarette butts like on his feet. And I was just smoking this scene, and then I was like, you know what? Yeah, I don't think I'm smoking this one. <laughs> and then I was drinking it because it was really good. It was like a mix of red velvet and bloody mary. But by like the fifth hour, I was like gonna vomit. <laughs> this was the conversation, <laughs> Jeff. I'm finishing the third pack. You think this is good for me? Jeff goes, Vanya, continuity doesn't matter what's good for you. I, yes. <laughs> not I love that, Joe. Michael on tap. That's great. Yeah. <clears throat> I think at one point they had to go get more cigarettes for the scene, no? Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that and more, uh, like, I think I ended up getting, like, tomato juice or something like that from the drinks. You ran yeah. out of blood. Oh, is that why it was Blood and Mary mix? Okay, that makes sense. Yep. I, drove, I drove down to the one mart that was 15 miles down the street, and, yeah, I got Bloody Mary mix. <laughs> oh, yeah. Covered in blood. Was it straight Bloody Mary mix, or was it... It was, was like it a bloody weird, Mary at mix first it was and they drank it, and cake. then it got mixed up with the red velvet cake mix, and that's when I wanted yeah. to form it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even that bad. I drank most of it. <laughs> I love my hair in this Alethea. Next time I have an event, <laughs> you have to do a lot of fun. It yeah. took a while. <laughs> Not a hairstylist, but learned how to do hair. Everyone <laughs> thinks you are now. Yes. I'm going to cool me. That's the kind of cool thing about this one is for a lot of us, it was our uh, first time doing various things. It's technically... The only film I'd shot before this, like narrative, was yours, Bobby. And that was like two weeks before we started on Blood from Stones. This was my first feature I ever shot. Yeah, that's crazy. And, yeah. And then for Nika, you produced in like theater and stuff like that, but this was your first time getting into the production side on film. Yep. Um, and then uh, it was my first feature. This is your first feature, yeah. So. My first feature is makeup, yeah. Was it? Okay. And Gabby, was it your first feature? Uh, yes. Yeah. And then... That should be an award for everyone's first oh, feature. Oh, Gary. Okay, like you're crazy. Yeah. As a nerdy actor, I love the dialogue scene. This is so good. You guys crushed it, and it's just fun. Like, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Just talking at the best. It's so good. <laughs> I also remember that this dialogue back and forth was like the last 
part of the scene that we had shot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. kudos to you guys for being up all day, all night, like, yeah. Smoking cigarettes, <laughs> drinking whatever that was. Joking, drinking a gross concoction. <laughs> but all right. <laughs> it's like, like a couple. I mean, I mean, probably, probably some people like more, more than others. But there's a few yeah. indulgent moments in the yeah. film. This, this scene is definitely the most indulgent of mine for just letting, letting it go on forever. But I enjoy these two so much together that I just like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it be. I'm not gonna shorten it. Um, and, and it's interesting. Some people, it's some of their favorite scenes. So, oh, cool. Thanks, Jeannie. Thanks, Jeannie. Also to all the people watching who aren't actors, uh, just saying words often is, is very, very difficult right? uh, with the nuances that they're bringing. Um, it's really a lot easier sometimes, well, truly it's a lot easier sometimes when you have an activity to like run and do something because you're no longer having to act, you're physically doing something and it takes you out of your head. So to what they're doing on screen now, is, it's just, it's very difficult to, to pull it off how well they did. So. Everyone's watching, like you're watching it, quite relaxing right now. That, that's a really a good way to look at it, Bobby. I didn't think of it that way because probably Tanika as well as somebody who is a theater actor that comes to you kind of as a part of training. You're just observed as a whole being on the scene as a part of the set the whole time. So there's no like oh cutting you from the waist down. You can just sit whatever. It's almost like. <laughs> You just you often have nothing but each other in the shot, and I think that's really good because Jeff would allow for that to happen because there was no cadillion, you know, angles. It was just like my over the shoulder and hers over the shoulder after the establishing one, and I think that's uh, that that instantly became apparent to me when I read the script. It's gonna be a lot of those scenes where you gotta just do your thing. You can like be like jogging and pretend talking, like in the movies, like they give you. You know, you see sometimes something on the screen, you're like, I know exactly how the directing of this scene went. Like, he was like, I need them to convey this kind of information. Let me just make them be sh shopping and talking. It's almost like two on the nose. This is like, no, look at them talking about this because everything else would be in the way. This is just like Zoom focus, you know? Uh, and it feels earned because you've been watching it for an hour and 20 minutes and now you just have this incredible conversation where you get to uh, you know, see the two, your two characters go at it. And it just, it, to me, it just feels incredibly earned. Um, and it's, I, I love it. I love this. I love that earned. You're right. Because you, you, you see action for an hour and then you're like, slow down, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was fun to shoot because, yeah, like uh, Vanya says, a lot of the time, you know, you're interrupted, it's cut together for like over six days, but this was like a whole night, well, actually two nights, but it was a whole night of us just being in the scene in real time. So it was nice. <laughs> yeah. Look the next 20 minutes of the scene. Just... And you know what, Mika, there's no way you can ever edit that long of a scene in different days to make sense acting wise and subtlety wise because that's got to be captured pretty much in the same like you said yeah. same, same hour it's really hard it's like a singer having to go to a studio to sing different verses and in, in different days and nights of different weeks like it was just probably not sound as coherent yeah cohesive you know My dad's like live to me questions about the movie as he's watching with us. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> he says, you'll always remember your first. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> thank you, Joe. Yeah. Thanks, Joe. Congrats. <laughs> and thank you. Yeah. Yes. We know what you mean. <laughs> See, my mom asked me, what is this happening here with your hand? And I explained and she said, do other people know that? <laughs> and I said, yeah, <laughs> it's a kind of common thing for vampires. They can't go in a light, you know. <laughs> you know, that's a really small thing. One of my favorite shots in the whole movie is coming up here. I love the one where uh follows Eric over to Gabby. It's just... I don't know, it was kind of accidental, but the way it goes from like the warm light into the blue light, and then like the hallway behind him, and then uh, Gabby was the uh, 
uh, cooler behind you where you got the blood. It was just like, just came together. It was like one of those moments where while shooting, it was like, oh, this is kind of magic. And it, wasn't, it was one of the few scenes I didn't have really planned and it just came together so nicely. And your performance here, Gabby, is just so strong because like your character is hiding what she really feels and you somehow showed both. You showed like what she's showing she's feeling as well as what she's actually feeling. So well done. Thank you. He's like, I checked your, I checked your blood. Yeah. You're an X-Men. You're not a human. You're a mutant. Exactly. <laughs> this is 21st century, darling. You can't get away with this. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I, I, I'm a doctor, and there's something definitely wrong with you. <laughs> He's like, I checked your toothbrush. I mean, I'm like, dude, we just slept. You don't get to check my toothbrush, all right? <laughs> Body temperature is like 48 degrees. What's going on here? Thank you. Uh, one. <laughs> it's nothing, honest. You know, it'd be funny if at the end it says instead of Eric Cotty, guy with the beard played by guy with the beard. Yes. <laughs> Come on, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't remember what you called Eric that first morning. The guy who stole my sandwich. It was something like yes. that. <laughs> and he had no Vanya to know. He had Vanya no idea. Yeah. yeah, it was like Sarah and Vanya. And he was like, <laughs> that's the great two. That's the great two. <laughs> In the middle of nowhere. Mika, Mika, that's the great two people to welcome into the house. <laughs> <laughs> he, made, he made it through somehow. Somehow. He came somehow. back as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> You see how he looks very terrified on the screen? That's because he met me in a bathroom minutes before shooting of this scene. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what else? Just a little from New York. He shows up, and in the first scene we're doing, we got a bed in the living room. And there's like really loud scene. He's like, what did I just walk into? My like, uniform. <laughs> Welcome to Vegas. Welcome to Vegas. Just like in Vegas. There's a bed in the living room. I There's literally a bunch of creepy people, people around me. Snooker table is covered in lenses. And yes. <laughs> a bunch of creepy people. This is great right here, this oh, I love this. I love this. It's the first shot of daylight in the film. Hmm. Uh. Blinding. Fake daylight? I love it. Wait, was that a real daylight? No, nope. that was like a lot. <laughs> we just yeah. like, oh, right. That's where all the dummies were. Yeah. 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 That was a garage. That was Ed Sheldon and Jeff and Steve setting up all of our lights in the garage. Every single last one. <laughs> I think I even added my phone flashlight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, everybody's phones out there with their flashlights on. <laughs> this, this was our last day when we were like zombies. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, that was rough. This I have been out, hour hour 17 some point during this day. Oh, I need to, yeah, I, mean, I don't even remember doing stuff. I just remember like doing it. <laughs> we had a we had a, a company move in the middle of the day, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, we did. We went from the hospital location exterior to this one to the interior. Which was in Sun Valley. Yeah, yeah. it was a, like an hour drive. Sun Valley was uh That was Denise's Ranger Petals. Oh, yes. petals. Yeah. yeah. That was a great hour 26. Guess what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You haven't slept in 26 hours, and my cat pissed all over your guitar pedals. Yay. <laughs> Welcome to independent filmmaking. <laughs> what a rap party. <laughs> yeah, really. What a rap party. <laughs> One of the only other daylight shots. Mm -hmm. mm, filmed just before the sunset, because you know yes, we like yeah. to keep each other on our toes. <laughs> yes. 
Michael, Michael tell Chris Kano you know, the next time you talk to him, thanks, thanks again for hooking us up because this location was a lifesaver. Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. Chris. Uh, Chris Kano is uh, part of the uh, uh, El Monte community over there, and he definitely helped us out with the uh, with the location. Hi, Linda. Hello. I'm back. <laughs> I couldn't figure out how to get back in. Oh no! <laughs> Sorry, Sorry, you're blocked out. out. I've been watching the whole time. It's great. Okay. okay. <laughs> Who's this guy? Why is he fishing? Mm. Seems oh, to be really. Uh, <laughs> Gabby wants a snack. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't want to see even today? I just don't buy that. It looks like, you know, Koreatown barbecue. I love the shots so much. That red in the water is, is something that Jeff really wanted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Linda. <laughs> I oh, remember these rocks. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Like, can you just crumble and fall down those rocks? Like, no, I'll die. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Yeah. Those rocks are sharp as well. <laughs> they weren't stunt rocks. <laughs> yeah, didn't get, Gabby, you almost took a fall, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, I actually fell later. <laughs> you did fall. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you cut yourself. Just, just to the left of frame, my parents were actually sitting right there watching. They came to visit that day. They brought cookies. They brought cookies and brownies. Yeah, isn't that real? <laughs> this lady was an excellent cop. Oh, oh yeah. She's great. And, <laughs> El <laughs> and Alfonso in the back was amazing. No, no, boy, I just really want an umbrella. <laughs> so Gabby, Jeannie was asking, what's your favorite scene you filmed in the movie? Hmm. I love the uh, kill scene with Bobby. That was one of my favorites, and and actually this one because this is kind of hard to act in a way that you you have to act and then you have to lie. Mm -hmm. That's, I always find that kind of tricky. Like it's a little bit, you know. <laughs> yeah, like I mean, when you find out that uh, Bobby's character is dead, and you have yeah. to act like, oh my god, really? Yeah. And you make that convincing. You don't say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, you did, you did well. well. You did very well with it. If I do say so myself. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, did you? I'm serious. Did you I watch? I remember any watching them. What's that? I can I can hear you. Huh? I was asking. Did you? Did you maybe watch any interrogation tapes of women to like uh, to prepare? Did you think of that, or did you just? Did it look no. like it looked really convincing. That's why I'm asking what, what you said about Bobby. No, I mean I watched a lot of CSI when I was younger. I'm so old now, but yeah, I was. <laughs> I'm You're only four hundred and two. Was that? You were only four hundred and two. You were four hundred and two. I know. I'm so old, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome, Jeannie. <laughs> she's catching up, so I don't think she's seen. I don't think oh, she's okay. seen. Oh, that's right. She just got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember the fact that even though I've, I've read the script a few times at this point, it was watching that scene happen real time. And I just got goosebumps like from Gabby's performance being like, ah. That's cool. <laughs> she's uh, she's maybe not as innocent as we think she is. <laughs> the damsel in distress is actually a monster. <laughs> I like this. Even doing long tracking shots, don't do them on a uh, 85 or 75 millimeter. 
with vintage <laughs> lenses trying to pull focus on a broken tripod. <laughs> on week three. <laughs> on week three, yes. Yeah. Oh my God. We have to redo this one because the location is turned on. Because of what, Steve? The sprinklers. Oh, that's right. What are the sprinklers that came on in the middle of this? Yes. Yeah, yeah they had automatic sprinklers that came on. Yeah, it delayed us a little bit. And then, of course, the sun started to rise because it does that. Every time. Every morning it rises. It does. It's so annoying. Yeah. I also had a bunch of raccoons with rabies on set, too. Which <laughs> the that's right. That's right. There were raccoons. Yeah, there were raccoons yeah. everywhere. There were a raccoon in the shop by the homeless guy on the bench. Is there? Yeah. Is there? Wait, really? How do I not notice that? Um, I noticed that at the screening. Wait, what? Was the we had to hold all the food, and we couldn't put the food or the drinks in any of the garbage disposals because the raccoons would just like take it all apart and spend like ages like going through it. So we had to hide everything in the car. Wow. I had no idea. No, you were busy doing something. Aren't was you? I? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Nevada seems a little too hot for raccoons, but good to know. <laughs> Lots of trash, so they're happy with that. Oh, yeah, they're having a great time. <laughs> That's true. I also, okay. somewhere I have that footage of you, Eddie, where you, it is in slow mo after the sun has risen, and you are surrounded in like bugs. This is like. It wasn't oh, just you. Oh, by the park benches. Yeah, with the makeup set up. Yeah. Yeah, there was like so yeah. many bugs there that morning. It was disgusting. Yeah, well, it's because yeah, the water were like all coming up. Yeah. Yeah, it's good, good times. times. <laughs> Don't say I never knew one, but anything to improve my friendship. <laughs> Hot, humid <laughs> bugs, snakes <laughs> in the desert, oh. sticking, sticking in the back of the Prius. Oh. And he still <laughs> talks to me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and you were responsible for the footage, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't fuck yeah. it up. Did not. Fuck it up. <laughs> no one. I actually I don't, don't know I why any of you still talk, talk to me. To be honest, okay. After this experience, I love this scene because he's like, oh, so good. <laughs> Drunk guy on the bench is funny. No, we're, 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 we're laughing in the screen. <laughs> what happened to Chris Moore? I don't, I don't know. know. He disappeared on us. All right, in the background. Oh, right. There he is. Oh, All right. I got caught up watching the movie. Oh, cool. Thanks, Chris. I'll, That's I'll good to hear. I'll, I'll come back on when the movie's over. I don't want to interrupt. It's it's okay. okay. I got caught up watching the film. Good, Perfect. Good, good. Okay, back to enjoying it. I'll be back. I'm, I'm here. I'm here. Cool. <laughs> He's here in spirit. Another the one take scene. And Nika kills it. Better start. It's very much. Camera operator, operator is mediocre. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they never change that room. Uh, that room is incredible. Mm -hmm. It worked really well. That wall was like perfect. Yeah. yeah. Favorite location. Yeah. yeah. This guy. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> oh. Something I love in movies is making me move my head. And having the paper sideways, I have to go, what's, what's that? <laughs> and I just, like, those little moments where like the theaters, people watching it, everyone just yeah. fucking goes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 people do that, it's so cool. Michael, Michael this, this is Tom, Tom right? Tom Gibbons? Yeah. Yes, yeah, Tom. He was such a great find. He is amazing in the scene. No, no yeah, offense, Vanya. He, he outshines you in this yeah. scene. <laughs> <laughs> That's not hard to do, though. <laughs> That's true. A paper bag could outshine you. You just have to have, you just have, to have really low expectations. 
<laughs> no, he was so excited. He came over from Arizona. He drove over into Laughlin and just even when his scene was done, he just hung out. He was so yeah, he was nice. a great, great guy. Yeah, he was fun. That being said, oh, was that close? Really? You were the shot, Jeff, or no? Yeah, that was my cameo. I was the neck. Yes, <laughs> nice neck, by the way. Yeah, yeah I worked I on it. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love this look here, Gabby. Gabby. Like, like the, the switch from just like you, the recognition to just disgust. It's great. great. This is the scene when I basically, this is that scene in the movie where I actually realized not just that this guy lives above me and sleeps with my girlfriend and uses my toothbrush, but he's also a boring <laughs> doctor. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> It's kind of cool because I can just watch it on Linda's screen. I don't have to push. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Linda. <laughs> That's how I'm watching it. <laughs> We've got it back there in the room behind us, but this is better with Linda's. Yeah. yeah. Linda's got a big monitor. She's got a bigger one than you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, much bigger. I'm, I'm crossing. I'm that's what, all the, that's what they all say. Hey, Jeff. Jeff. I'm cropping the Linda's window for the monitor and sending to the Russian torrent. <laughs> oh, don't worry, it's already there. Have I mean, you looked at the torrent oh, sites? It's all over. Oh, really? Oh, my God. God. It's Everywhere. It's the one time I haven't pirated anything. <laughs> They already have it subtitled in like, like, uh, like Indian, uh, like Hindu. They got it in Arabic. They got it in everything now. It's actually quite good flattery. Yeah, yeah it is. Totally. Yeah, nobody torrented prey, so it's nice that if I have a movie, people want to pirate. Yeah. <laughs> to be so lucky. It's actually free advertising. You know, it is. As long as it's as long as it's not in countries, you know, where everybody can see it easily. Yeah. yeah. Fun little side note on this one. Vanya hadn't filmed in like about two weeks when we did this scene or a week. And he showed up and he wasn't Yure in this scene. And then Alethea went and smeared blood on his face and he tasted the blood. And all, and all of a sudden, Yuri came, came back, back out again. It was great. <laughs> As he likes a spliff. I remember the, the first night that we all shot was the Uber nights, the, the Uber scene. And that very first night, we put foundation on Vanya and everything. And like halfway up into the morning, Alicia's like, that's it. And he just sweats everything off. And then we were all sitting like um, uh, cotton, like things to apply the blood. And after like day four, we were just putting our hands into his jug and just slapping each other. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you went from being very delicate to just like, uh, yeah. yeah. It's one of the first videos I posted, Alicia dipping the tips of her fingers and doing it. And then the next scene, Alicia taking a bucket. Like, yeah. I remember that before we were shooting one of them. Alicia, Touch up or something. She's like, here you go. Sugar vine, get out there. <laughs> Poor Vanya. Oh, so we just say for my two lead I actors Vanya here. Being a little bit sexy, but... <laughs> I, I love it. I love the flip like, here. Oh, beautiful. Let me see. Oh, oh, Vanya's always beautiful. I wanted your undivided makeup artistic <laughs> attention. To, to sit in front of the ring light and do this, but I was just That's giving... a great line, delicious. Oh, uh, you yeah. taste delicious? That's, That's what I love about, about this moment. Like, Gabby, Gabby totally, totally takes over the badass role. role. Yeah. And, and then, then right, right here, Vanya looks so, so sad and, and just so lost. lost. It's beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> you two just did so good with this. All of a sudden, we all feel bad for Vanya. <laughs> We all think I'm there. You, you know see, what? That's, for real, that's the scene when he decides he's going to end it. That's why it's, I think it's nice because seeing her leave with him, he's like, well, that's it, I guess. Because movie started yeah. with her telling him, like, this is it. That this is basically when he realized what she told him was the truth. You know? Right. Yeah, it's uh, like, it's you know it's the last time. Yeah. yeah. There's There's no turning back. He knows the last time you're going to see her. Uh, hey, hey, Ward. Hey, Ward. Hey. Hey. Oh, Ward, yeah. everybody loves you in the bar scene. Yeah. You are so good. 
Yes. Don't, don't worry. There. We're going to be able to see this because it's going to get published. Yes. It'll be right. on the Film Threat website, and then you can watch it and enjoy the whole thing. Oh, goody. Yes. Hey, hey Vanya, do you want to tell people what you did right before we filmed this night? Oh, my oh God. God. <laughs> we, were in, we were in a hotel room in Vegas, and I don't know. I was taking a shower, and then I know Michael left the room for a second as a producer. He's like, please don't mess up anything. And it's Michael. Alarm, alarm went off. Oh, I tried to get the alarm to not make noise. I fell off the table somehow, and I... <laughs> Broke my foot almost. I don't know what happened. We couldn't even. I couldn't walk, and then it was a huge. Oh, no. We oh, don't know. No. Yeah, yeah. My friends and my right? Yep. Well, we both felt like a high street had real police, fake police. <laughs> Yeah, and of all nights, he you know, but he yeah. he used it, he played it, and it looks awesome. It looks great. Yeah, yeah he's. Walking up and down Main Street about 50 times that night with a totally messed up ankle. Yeah, mad props on you. You were, you were a freaking trooper on that one. Yeah, man, that's thanks. It was great. Dude, this scene was such a rush of adrenaline. You have people taking... Yeah. Was that real booze and did it go in your mouth? Uh, yes. It was real blood and real booze the whole time. <laughs> it's just, everybody knew like a lot. <laughs> real this is an, such this a shot movie. took weeks to do. Okay, uh -huh. came out question, that last shot was gorgeous. Where was that shot? Gorgeous. The, the mountains. Oh, that? That stock, stock footage. footage. I actually tried to get a real sunrise, and I, I fucked it up. So I had to use stock footage. Oh, damn it. I failed. You know, it was so well blended between this, like, fire and the shot. It's almost <laughs> 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 Maybe it was great. Uh, Team like, Red? How independent of this movie, our credits are a minute and a half long. Yeah. yeah, it's a small, uh, small crew. <laughs> yeah, the credits on. I mean, literally the whole crew, you can see right here on camera. Like, this is everyone. Yay! We've got, right here, we've got music and sound and just a thousand other things. He built the dead bodies right on, where is it? This side of me, and a shoulder who's entire camera and lighting. Nika, who's the production coordinator, right underneath uh, them is Steve, who did sound and a thousand other things. Michael Caradano, who was producer, and a trillion other things. Like, this was our whole, and then Sarah, who's not here tonight, unfortunately. Like, that was our whole team. That was everybody. So, and then, of course, the amazing cast. So, yeah. Congratulations, everyone. It, it, I think everybody should be very proud of, of what everyone did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. So, so Chris, Chris, thanks so much for having us. us. Congratulations. Yeah, this was awesome. This was super fun. This was yeah. super fun. I didn't get caught up in watching the movie yet. That, sorry. Good. My apologies. But I mean, I'm sure I wasn't the only one. You don't have to apologize to me. That makes me feel good. <laughs> And there we go, Indie Rides, Linda. Woo! Yes, yeah. thank you, Linda. Woo! And Michael, if you're hiding somewhere there. He is. <laughs> Indie, Indie Rides, look at that, right on the screen. Yay. Let's get everybody's, everybody's final thoughts on this. As we put this watch party to bed, what, what are the final thoughts um, from everyone? And, and, and Jeff, you, you should probably go last. So. Yes, Jeff should go last. The, the I'll go Jeff, first. I'll go first. Jeff should go last. I'll go first. go first. We are so excited about this movie because we have been obviously it's been in the works for a long time, and and we have just been patiently, patiently waiting for when we could release it to the world. And we're very excited. We're going to be featuring at the American Film Market. It's going to be screening there. And we've already gotten interest from buyers. So 
we feel confident that it's going to get a huge audience and that really is very exciting for us because we just think it's we think it's the best vampire film that's ever been made wow that's right that means means a lot lot, really Gabby, Gabby, you're you're next. next. Just Just going in order. Wow. How can I put it into a few sentences? I mean, (laughs) this is really hard. I mean, I'm just really grateful that you you cast me, honestly, because I really felt like this role was for me, like when we did the screen test, and I was really not at all nervous. I just felt like that was it, it was just for me. And then I was like, well, if you don't want it, if you don't you don't want me to be the the, the lead, then it's on you. <laughs> so, I was like, fun I side story, story, real quick. Um, um, so we did our screen Jeff test. The same way. Was uh, that? Obviously, Jeff felt the same way he when did. he saw you. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad he did. We did, we did the screen test with uh, uh, numerous different actors that made it to the final round, and you know, Nico, Nico was there, of course, and Michael was there. there. And we, and we discussed, discussed it, it, but I actually sent, sent it off to Jeff Black with no context. context. I was just, just tell me your thoughts. thoughts. Mm-hmm. And he and came back, and the one with Vanya and Gabby, he's like, like I just believe them. Like, like, they mm-hmm. feel real. And I was like, like that's, that's what I was feeling, too. too. And, and it was, was like, just you two both brought so much to this. And then, Chris, you'll after, After I already captured her, yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, what we were talking, and I told her about I kind of based the family dynamic off of the folklore about Elizabeth Bathory. And Gabby, tell her you were up in regards to Elizabeth Bathory. Oh, well, so I'm from Hungary. Uh, I was born in Hungary and moved here six years ago. And I'm from this small, it's literally a village of 4,000 people. My parents still live there. And it, this village is about maybe 10 miles away from where Elizabeth Bathory lived, who <laughs> apparently killed a lot of uh, young girls for their blood to stay young. This is the word. <laughs> so how many is that? Yeah. yeah. So, so Gabby's actually from, from the, the place, place that like this family's based on. on so. Who knows? Maybe um, I'm related to her. You never know. Well, possibly. <laughs> It could be. I mean, it's literally super close to my where, where I lived when I was young. You bought a whole another level of authenticity to it. <laughs> I guess. I guess that might have something to do with it. Less <laughs> thoughts. Well, I just uh, my first thank you is to Jeff for having the meeting with me and for trusting me with. Uh, trying to organize all of this together. I know we, uh, we, we went ups and downs through our trips to Laughlin and Vegas and everything. And then the, uh, uh, the crew that you put together made my job so much easier. And I wanna thank every, every one of you. And I know Sarah's not on, but we'll thank her too. Um, but uh, you know, for my, uh, my, my first big producing job, you guys couldn't have made it easier. And I just, I, I thank you very much. You did a great job. Michael, you're Thank incredible. You. I actually think this movie couldn't have happened without you. No. <laughs> like, the no. ideas were there, the talent no. was there, it couldn't have happened. <laughs> no. The Thank live you. producer usually gets the least credit in a film from the audience, right? Mm. They have no idea how difficult the job is. You know? yeah. So they're usually the most underappreciated person in the whole <laughs> film. I mean, you know? So it's really amazing, you know, the job you did. Do you see um, the locations, the size of the cast, the the like, like all this stuff that he accomplished on like five dollars. Yeah, yeah. No, we, we took, took a dollar out of your per diem. We had five. <laughs> see, last thoughts. Um, I'll say I had a blast on this one. This because uh, this is the first feature ever was like people really deep into, and got to talk to people outside of whatever department I was part of, and really the fact that we were all basically uh, stuck inside of one uh, uh, one Airbnb together. It was just 
we I didn't know most of you guys, and then it became, hey, I'm making a movie with my uh, with my summer camp friends, and I don't care about that now. Just like, oh, it's all you guys. <laughs> Yeah. It, was, it was very interesting because each time she ran past you and kind of glanced over, we were all still shocked when she attacked you. I don't know mm -hmm. what I was. <laughs> I mean, but seriously, look at Steve. How could you not want to bite into that? He's delicious. I mean, of course I want to eat it. <laughs> I mean, uh, we got, I think Bonya is the one that said, I think Steve was the only one who actually fought back on this one. So. That's true. Bobby, or, you know, what, what, what was your uh, thoughts on this experience? Uh, I mean, I want the same thing. I'm very grateful that, you know, you brought me on board um, and I got to do a role that I would never get to do otherwise. Um, <laughs> and so it was fun getting to dive kind of into this very interesting role. Of uh, Mike slash whiskey dick, um, <laughs> but no, I mean all around, just what a it's in, it's incredible to see what such a small group of dedicated people can do and make such a, a genuine piece of art that I really think is gonna stand the test of time and make its mark on the vampire genre. And you know, you led that gem, and uh, everyone involved was such a perfect part and. Now, I'm just a very, very small team on active in this. So, um, so I'm, I'm such a small part, but I've been watching all of you work on this, and, and I've worked with some of you since then, uh, and it's just incredible to, to see what this, how this came out. And so kudos to all of you, and um, I, I hope that people really appreciate, you know, what was done here. Um, so I loved it. You did a great job. And it yes, was an important job, part of the yeah. story. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Bobby got to be the vehicle for all my own personal adequacies that I channeled through the script. <laughs> you got to take it out on something, not just at your house. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I can't thank you enough. I know it was a challenging role, and you, you did phenomenal, so thank you. Alethea, your last thoughts. Oh, gosh, I have so many. Well... First, my dad just texted me and he says that the movie was great and that it's coming from a jaded, grizzled old vet because my dad's a gaffer back in Virginia and he's been in the industry for many decades. But so nice. he, he, we talked to him almost every single night of this production and he was like living vicariously through me, just like independent filmmaking. And it was incredibly proud of all of you guys, even though he's never met you. And um, for me personally, I think I learned a lot. <laughs> I did more than I thought was possible. Um, <laughs> and I think when I came out, of the, came out of this film at the end, I was like, I feel like I could do anything after this. And when we were in production a couple of years ago, I, was, I had just moved to Los Angeles. I was here for just under a year. And then I remember being like, yeah, this is my Los Angeles family. Like, this is my family. After, after spending like a month together, just being in the trenches. Like I've been in many productions before. Um, this was one of the more, the most memorable projects I've ever worked on. It's like everyone's energy. You're a super micro skeleton crew, but everyone just kind of had the same mentality of just get it done. Like everyone had five different hats and you know, it's definitely like a labor of love is an understatement for sure. But um, you were yeah. very courageous. I have a lot of love for this film. <laughs> very courageous. Thank you. <laughs> you yes. Thank you. <laughs> Vanya, your yeah. last thoughts. <laughs> um, well, first of all, to me, the most biggest importance of this movie for me is that I met you guys. Oh. Um, I have friends now. Seriously, I did not have much friends in the in, in artistic friends, you know. It's it's really we stayed connected because movie came out now, but we shot this two years ago, which means in this the span of two years, 
I don't talk to people that I shot stuff three or two years ago anymore. It's just like we stay old with the music, very connected. And, and I think like this, we, we became like a band. This band is usually like a bunch of dudes having a good fucking time, and then they make a record. You're like, you trust them. You're like, that's a good record because these guys live together. Ask Jeff Black. I mean, he'll tell you. So the fact that you live like that, and you're, that you're still friends, we can still go out, have a coffee, talk about new artistic stuff, and just. Feel good. That's really rare. LA is full of people who are out and about to leave an impression, hoping to get something in return. Maybe I did go to that first casting, trying to charm everybody to get this role. But now that I'm friends with all of you, like I have nothing. There's no like any like. My, there's nothing behind this but friendship now, and that's great. Even though the project is over, that's great. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to talk about it, but obviously, I think highly of the movie. I'm in throughout the whole movie, and it's really it was uncomfortable watching myself in pain for that long. <laughs> I'm sorry that I can fuck up every second, and I probably will, because as an actor, you're obviously, as anybody, you're very self-conscious. But I think it's a very easy to act in a movie like this or to, not to act, but just to do, because it's easily written, it's, it had great producer, it had great makeup, it had great idea behind, it had a great sound mixing. Mine was just to show up and say stuff. So, you know, that's what I did, and it turned out good. Much better than I actually thought. Just reading the script, you don't have this depth that you get with actually watching stuff happen in real time, edited on the screen. So as somebody who has been a part of it so deeply, I can say I highly recommend watch it. Yeah, watch it because anything is good to watch for you based on your own opinion. I, as biasly as I could, watching it, I like it. I like the vampirism is taken as a problem. It's like we don't we don't like glorify it. I told Jeff at a certain point the best description of this movie is you take True Blood and you take Twilight. And you put them together, and you put them in the toilet, and you flush the toilet, and you should get that. You write a whole movie, but this time a good movie, and there you go. And so then, uh, I think, uh, you know, he, he, he's shown a new, this is really boldy. Um, let me tell you something. Not many people will be given, so if somebody came to Hollywood and said, I need you to write me a vampire-driven movie, do whatever, it would be a big problem because how do we appeal to kids and how do we appeal to sexy teenagers? How do we appeal to Jeff would not do any of that stuff? Just like I'm gonna tell the story about Roma and Juliet, tragic love. But let's say, what if Roma and Juliet are vampires? Whatever. I mean, he made it like that. So it was kind of like a circumstance worse than a, than the core of the whole thing. And then it didn't really bother you all that killing because it's like it's a problem. This girl's trying to purchase blood like a sickness. You know, you guys like <laughs> It, it's a, it's an original concept. It was easy to make it to be this good, and you know I'm really thrilled that I ended up doing it. And honestly, last thing that I'll tell you, it makes me sad because watching this movie, I realized how this is probably. I hope I'm wrong, but this might be one of my last movies of this kind because I really don't know anybody who'd be bold enough to make a role like this for me that's not going to be like a rock or, or Jason Memorish or whatever. It's going to be like an actual character that just happens to be 6'3 and 250 because that's how he is. I can't be five feet. Is this how I am? So, I mean, Ronnie, yeah, in my next movie, I'm casting you as an accountant. <laughs> just woo so, so we can feel alive. alive. <laughs> well, thank you. Vanya, you just inhabited the character so well. And it is such a unique character for this <laughs> genre, you know, that it just came across so authentic, even mm. though the character is so unique. Uh, so you did a fabulous job. And, you know, I think you have a great future. Thank yeah. you so much, Linda. Uh, but yeah, that, that's one thing future that kind of this movie was like, how about this? What if this was actually a trend? Like, what if they, like, wait, what, what, if they what if the movies were not made to satisfy anybody but a creative vision? And that's just, I hope people understand that watching this. This was not catered to a specific crowd. This was a story told. And then you find yourself in the story or you don't. It's not made for you. It's made as an artistic expression. And I, I love it. I was just, I couldn't be more proud of what we made, regardless of what anybody will think. And I'm pretty sure people will, you know, at least respect it. You you can like it or not, like, but you have to respect the 
the, the, the what we created here, you know, and, and I'm really proud to be, uh, you know, a part of this. Well, the reviews are a testament to everyone that's worked on it, from the music and the soundtrack to the acting and the production. Everything is getting complimented in the reviews, so we're we couldn't be more excited. Yeah. Lily, thank you so much for your comment, and uh, I also got your message, and yeah, um, I'm so happy to hear that the film touched you on that level and, you know, um, just gave you a cathartic experience for your own life journey, so thanks for checking it out and your support. Also about what Lily yeah. said, if I may, Jeff uh, Ryan, who made before this movie, uh, the movie Frey, there is so many people who actually recognize their own self struggles in the movie today that, that they actually, you know, spoke about it. And that's, I'm sure many people will see that. Will, smart people will see, will understand. You shouldn't be bothered by blood. Just watch it, the relationship going and let the blood do its part. But like, that's kind of like what she said. It's like the struggles between, you know, me and her and that love triangle and like, this story kind of independent stuff. It's like a very like a family drama. Like you can apply to anybody pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Sneka, your last thoughts. Um it was kind of weird for me because <laughs> at the very beginning, I kind of I remember just talking about it and then I kind of came on board and slowly took on <laughs> more and more and more and <laughs> I come from a theater background. Um, I co-ran a theater company in London, so I'm kind of used to having like a troupe and everyone dipping in, but you don't really get that in film. Um, and I think in hindsight, or certainly in the theater, we were all in that house. It was just, for me, it's like my my love for creativity is, is having that kind of symbiotic relationship where people, go to do something before you've even opened your mouth because everybody's like so connected and everybody shares the vision and everybody's literally knows they're wearing more than one hat and it's just i agree with vanya i don't know if i'll ever have another experience like that again because it's just it's really special and it's really magical to kind of have that creative brain where it's just more than you it's everyone and i i was just amazed how everyone really came together yeah it was amazing and it, and it came off, <laughs> you know, sometimes you, watch, you, never. Them, you never see them again, but like this one actually started at the beginning, went through all of that, and now we have a movie and it's just, it's incredible. I have people who've watched it across the world pretty much and the feedback's been incredible. So, yeah. I think great. we have another movie because you and your family are really important in this movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you guys remember how even when we were not shooting, whoever was having a day off, which is very rare, but let's say somebody doesn't have to be on the set, everybody's like, no, of course I'm coming to the set. Like we're hanging, yeah. we're talking about it. It was going to work. It was like, you get, you get mad. Like, I don't even know where it's set tonight. I want to go hang out, you know? <laughs> it's really a friendship. I'm not kidding. And fun side story, actually. I met Nika at the theatrical premiere of my first film, Frey, that Vanya was talking about, which Chris, you at uh, Film Thread had given us one of our first reviews for that film, too. Oh, wow. I didn't so, know that. I was yeah. friends with uh, Brian, the actor from that film. Uh, we did two shows together in London, in London and the Edinburgh Fringe. So, yeah. And uh, actually, Brian was, was living with us in London, and then he's like, oh, I'm going to go do this film about a vet who comes back from the war. And I was like, okay, cool, oh, cool, fine. And then I didn't see him again for like three years. Yeah. <laughs> we have pictures of you on the red carpet at Frey, and it was That's like, right. oh, wow, this is so incredible. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. It's a <laughs> cool story. So, Adesola, your, uh, your last thoughts on this one, other than, you know, still traumatized by the previous drunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, Jeff Ryan, you were a great writer. Um, he gave heart to dead characters. is <laughs> a beautiful thing in and of itself. But yeah, I mean, yeah, I want to talk about this. Well, thank you for involving me in your process from the beginning. Like, I remember you sent me the script like 2017, like early mid 2017. 
And me just really liking it and giving feedback and you considering my feedback, talking things out with me, and then obviously getting ready to go into production, involving me in the process, asking me to come on board. You guys who all helped make this for all in this chat, this conversation, like this was like one of the best jobs. I would say one of the best jobs in terms of like people I work with, the experience I had, like I don't even think about any of the rough times that we had. <laughs> like, all, the time. all the fucking six, seven a.m. pool party and drunk, like wow, so <laughs> like I had a fucking blast. I'm proud of how it came out. It's just, overall, like, it's just been a great time. But like, I mostly just like think about reading the script and like seeing all the information. And I think you did a great job, man. I'm proud of you. Thank you. And um, Eddie was one. Yeah, he was one of the first people. He, uh, uh, Nika, and Andy, of course. So uh, Jeff Black, uh, and of course Linda, the first people I sent the script to when I was working on it. Um, but Eddie also included, obviously, in like the child listing, storyboarding. You know, he's um, you know, he's a humble guy, but he's a phenomenal storyteller, phenomenal visual artist, and it was a big part of the film coming together. So, um, yeah, he's he's too humble to say so, but he was a big part of this thing. So, thanks, Eddie, for being a part of it. So, Mr. Black, your thoughts. <laughs> I'm just really grateful. It's, uh, it's been a whirlwind of an experience. Um, I basically moved to LA to work on this movie. Um, he convinces me to do a lot of things against my better chief judgment, and then it ends up somehow working out in an amazing way. I don't know what's going on there, but I do remember, like I was saying, the first time reading it. Um, was like in a hotel room, I think in Canada, on a tour, and it was like, this, this story really feels like it needs to happen. You know, I remember having that feeling of being able to see it, and then I remember seeing the screen tests and doing tons and tons and tons of music just to try and find sound. Um, a lot of it got thrown out, you know, and we were just trying to, really trying to nail it down. I remember being on set and thinking about that too, like, well, we got to get back into how this thing really feels, how it feels to be here in these weird, desolate places. Um, and I'm so, I'm so grateful for all those challenges. And I mean, beyond that, I'm really grateful for the teamwork, the, the crazy relationships that came out of this. You know, I met my girlfriend who I love very much. She made friends that I'll have forever. You know, I'm, I'm so grateful to everybody putting like a thousand percent of their energy. You know, when you like have that feeling like I'm exhausted and then you have to keep digging and then you find out that you don't overcome it and then you like dig more and then you still overcome even more than you thought you could. I feel like we all kind of went through that and that was kind of a really important thing for me at that time in my life moving to a new place you know you've known literally two people you know figure it out um so i'm super grateful for the fact that it exists you know and we can press play on it space bar test hey look what we gave blood literally blood sweat and tears into this you can watch it now i, I really hope it touches a lot of people and as for all of us in this chat you know I just can't wait to make the next one. I'm like, let's do it, you know? Let's do it. Yeah. Hey, like, I want to do it again. I'm like, start yeah. the ride over. Let's yeah. go. Like, I'm, I'm Jeff, down. I just want to say I didn't get a chance to really thank you too much at the, um, you know, at the premiere. But you did such an awesome job. And again, sometimes uh, music and sound is often overlooked because it just becomes... You know, and it's an integral part of it, but it, it contributes and is so, so important to the emotion and how people's, you know, acting is received. And, and you did such a beautiful job on it, and it's getting recognition, you know, and I, I hope that you plan on doing the soundtrack album. So, so it's actually out on Spotify. 
Oh, fantastic. Yeah, yeah it's out on Spotify. Cool. Yeah. I'll send you a link. I've read it to everyone. Yeah. Great. Thank, yeah. Right. Thank, Thank you. And, uh, thanks so much. Jeff, it really is. I mean, with music. Amazing. amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> is. We were in the car a couple of days ago, and he put uh, he got the score mastered for the release, and uh, it's, it's just it's it's a epic body of work, and he definitely created a whole special world that is a film through sound. Um, yeah. You know, and if you put it on TuneCore, it will be on forty four different music programs. It's it's out. There's a link in my Instagram bio. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the last thing I wanted to say. The I, <laughs> I didn't know that either. Yeah. <laughs> so, so last, last thing I'll say is, is uh, you, you know, know every person here uh, on the team, on the production team, is somebody I've met over, over the years. years. Uh, with the exception of Olivia, you, you were referred to me by Adesola, which is a high regard in my mind. But everybody was when I met who was just like, this is a person I need to keep in my life. Uh, Sarah, who's not here right now. Um, Adesola, I met years ago. Nika, you know, years ago. Steve, I've known forever. Um, Jeff Black, for a long time. And just people that I knew and like, like when I was doing this film, it wasn't, wasn't about like, oh, this, this person is an assistant camera, this person is a gaffer. It was like, this person's amazing. They're brilliant. They, they may not have done exactly this, but they're, they're going to do it well. And they'll figure it out. And, and we, we all did. did. We all just figured the film out. We made it work. Somehow we took the crazy idea and it actually worked. Um, the cast, you know, obviously, uh, Bonnie, Gabby, Nika, Bobby, but really everybody, Eric, Brianna, Joe, Tommy, um, just everybody that came on board on this thing was brought so much life, so much realism and authenticity to a vampire movie. Like, that was the hardest part. It was like, it's a vampire movie. You know, it was Michael used to tell people. Oh, it's a serial, serial killer movie. movie. You, you didn't, didn't even say that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, it's, inter it's interesting. Some people have said, even if they weren't vampires, it's still a great story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, yeah. which is a credit to you. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. yeah. And so, you know, you know the, the fact, fact that nobody here treated it like, like some trashy vampire movie. movie. You all saw it for its deeper themes, its potential, and this is what we made. So all of you worked on it. Thank you. Um, to those of you who are checking it out, watching it, or are going to watch it, thank you. You know, that's that's all we can hope for at this point is that people give it a chance. Jeff. Hopefully it works for you. Well, making the well, I just want to say to everyone that watches this movie, I hope that you'll leave us a review and tell us what you thought about it because it's really, really important. It's what drives independent film. Yeah. Yes, it definitely. is. Like with the news being recording a film, so please, if you can, leave one. Yeah. Hi, we all do very much. That's my brother. Shout out to you. He's a class. Yes. Thank you for the war for doing this and organizing this. It was a wonderful yeah. experience, and I hope we get to do more. It's it's a really great way for people to get introduced to the film, to meet the filmmakers, and and get some idea of. The genesis of the film, and it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. Yeah, yeah thanks, Chris. Really really thanks, Chris. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks. Well, I Jeff, please, um, you got to keep that movie. Uh, thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, um, everyone who's watching this. Uh, Blood from Stone. Just find out how you can see it. Amazon is one way. I know other platforms and. Uh, make sure you visit the website, bloodfromstonemovie.com. Um, 
This has been awesome. This is cool. This will not be the last watch party. I can tell you that for sure. Okay. Um, but I can't thank you all enough for taking the time to watch the film with us and uh, comment. And wow, what a great group. I really wish I was in a movie in some way. So I have, it sounds like it was such a great experience. So, yeah. but I want to thank everybody just for taking the time. This was this was awesome. Um, so maybe maybe we we'll all give like a big big kiss goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye